Hey, hey, my name is Garrick, and tonight we're sampling... Oh shit, I forgot to look up the pronunciation. Is it Versailles? Versailles? It... <laughs> I've always just said or heard Versailles, but I think Versailles. I saw somebody yep. saying like Versailles was more correct or something, and I was like, uh-oh, now I, I gotta check that. What? I didn't. Yeah, I don't know. What are you talking about? It's it's unless, unless you're talking about the town in Indiana. That you know, there was some it's discussion of that <laughs> in the conversation. That might have been what I read. Anyway, it's Versailles nineteen nineteen by Mark Herman and Jeff Engelstein uh, and GMT Games. Joining me, as you can hear, we have Drew. Hi. We have Badger. <laughs> Hello. And we have Hector. Hello. Uh, Badger is going to very kindly teach this to us, and then we are going to play it because that's what you tend to do with board games. So, uh, Badger, <laughs> take it away. <laughs> Wait, before that, I have a very important question. What's up? How do you decide whose name to say first? It's Mark Herman always first. <laughs> No, 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 amongst the players, because uh, I was really thrown off Oh, my name coming first. You're at the uh, top of the list. I thought this was a callback. Sorry. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> um, that, that would have been a good, good callback. Uh, uh, it is typically just me panning the camera around to seat positions uh, somewhat semi-randomly. This time I just happened okay. to go top to bottom in, in the turn order on the right, so... No, uh, I didn't. So I did no rhyme I did, or reason. No, I did it weird because I went Badger after Drew. So yeah, I don't. I don't know. There's no rhyme or reason. Yep. All right. Know. I'm gonna call BS on that. I feel like I pissed you off the most the last <laughs> game we played, and then so you put me at the end of the list. So I'm on the chopping block, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Versailles 1919. The Great War in Europe is over, and it is time to negotiate a peace treaty. At the table are Italy, uh, Great Britain, the United States, and France. And together, they're going to work their way through a big pile of issues that need to be addressed in the treaty or not. And each, each country will try to mold the treaty that best matches their interest um, by taking control of the various issues that uh, get to the table and uh, by keeping their com their countrymen happy and by trying to address a larger strategic vision for the world after the war. Um, each player has 15 influence cubes and also three military units that are represented by little disks. Um, influence will be used to try to gain control of the various issues at stake. Uh, the military units will be used to uh, put boots on the ground in the various regions to protect your interests or to influence events in those regions. Um, influence cubes will work their way from available to a given issue card, and when that issue card is settled, uh, the influence will either go to exhausted or will come back to your hand, to your um, pool of available units, depending exactly on how the issue is resolved. Military units uh, can be deployed to a region. Um, they can be brought back into your available pool. If you decide that's where you want them to be, they can also be demobilized. Demobilizing a unit will make your population happy, but it will also mean that that unit is out of play for the rest of the game. Um, the goal of the game is to have the most points at the end of the game. Points are generally um, scored by having control of an issue. Um, you can see on this issue card that this issue is worth five points. This one is worth three points. This one's worth three. This one's worth four. Anything with a little sunburst after it uh, indicates where you can score points. Having the best happiness at the end of the game, this player, in this case, it's a four player game, will net you six points. So if you're second place, you get four points. Third is two, last is zero. You also can score points for um, satisfying the conditions of your strategy card. We'll go over that when we talk about the strategy cards. 
So basically, you just add up points at the end of the game. Whoever has the most is the winner. Um, there are tiebreakers. I believe the first tiebreaker is happiness. I'd have to look it up to make sure. First is happiness. Second is how many issues you control at the end of the game. Um, so it's basically just adding them up. Um, yeah, so that's how you that that's that's how you win. You get the points. Um, <laughs> All the points. All the points. You want Gimme. all the points. Um, this part of the board over here has a number of issue cards that are face up. Um, also has three event cards that are face up. This area of the board represents uh, the actual conference taking place at Versailles. Um, and in the conference, issues on the table are ripe to be settled. That is taken into somebody's session, um, finalized or possibly finalized. Um, when that happens, a new issue will be brought to the table from the waiting room and a new issue will come into the waiting room either from the deck or from the discard pile. Uh, there are also events that occur. There are things going on outside the world, outside of your conference, little conference room where you think you're running things. So outside forces will also have an effect on the game. Um, up here, we have the region track. The region track has unrest markers for each of the various regions represented in the game, Europe, the Balkans, the Middle East, Africa, and the Pacific. As un these unrest markers will move generally to the right, which means that unrest is increasing. When unrest increases, the likelihood of an uprising in a given area also increases. Um, at some point in each region, the powder keg marker will also move onto the track. The powder keg marker has the effect of being sort of a bottom bumper. The unrest marker can never move past the bumper. So as the powder mm. keg level rises, the unrest level must rise. For example, if unrest was here and we added a powder keg, unrest would actually would automatically move up one. Uh, so as powder kegs increase, the level of unrest increases, which increases the chances of there being an uprising in that region. Players can also place military units on the region track. Just as this acts as a sort of bottom bumper, the military units act as a stopper at the top. So uh, by placing a military unit, you can effectively tamp down the chances of there being a an uprising in a region um, but deploying the units sometimes comes at a cost down here we have the happiness track each of the countries involved in the game has a happiness marker japan also has a happiness marker um, obviously there's no japanese player but the happiness of the Japanese does have a game effect. Uh, happiness can increase as high as 25, uh, at which point it stops. So if you are at 24 and gain two, you just go to 25. The happiness track also has a bottom at zero. You can't go past zero, but the kicker with zero is if you end up at zero, you're done. You're in the pit of despair. You do not ever move back off of zero. Um, the other nice thing about zero is if you do reach zero, you lose five points at the end of the game, regardless of where you place on the happiness track. So if everyone is here, no one gets any points. Everyone loses five points. Don't go to zero. <laughs> um, another, um, another feature of the happiness track is, and this gets to Japan, Japan and Italy are both somewhat ambivalent about signing this treaty. If their marker ends below 15 at the end of the game, they will not sign the treaty. 
if it ends at 15 or higher, they will sign the treaty. This matters for some of the strategy cards, such as the 14 points. Um, and also this one. Um, further, the happiness track is divided into uh, some colors. If And these correspond to the uh, text down here, three military, two military, one military. If your happiness marker ever moves from this portion of the track into the yellow portion of the track, the most military units you can support is two. If you all, if you still have three in your control and you move into here, you must automatically demobilize a unit because it mutinies. Mutiny, not great. <laughs> um, so um, final, the final section of the board, well, there's two more. Um, this is the exhausted box. Um, Avail or uh, influence that's placed onto a card, and when that issue is settled, some of it will go to the exhausted box. Uh, military units will also sometimes end up in the exhausted box um, when influence or military is in the exhausted box. You can't use it, you're gonna have to take some sort of action to get it back to your pool of available influence and military. Um, Finally, we have the demobilized section. Um, military units will end up here, sometimes uh, voluntarily, sometimes involuntarily, as with a mutiny. Um, when units end up here, uh, the country that puts them there, for example, in this case, Great Britain, um, depending on the box they go in, they will gain a certain amount of happiness because your people would like the boys to come home after the war. So the first to get a unit demobilized gets the biggest happiness boost, uh, and it decreases from there. Um, so that's the map. Um, such as it is, it's not really a map, it's more of a board. Um, we've already done the setup for the stream. Um, And we've all also already chosen sides. Drew is the Italians. Um, he will go first. Uh, Garrick is the US, the white. He will go second. Um, Hector is third as the blue player. And then I'm last as Great Britain. Uh, this is a turn-based game. On your turn, you can do uh, two things. You must do a political action, which involves uh, either placing influence onto issues. You can, um, the other political action that you can, do, one other political action you can do is retrieve exhausted influence from the exhausted box back to your pool. And the third thing you can do, which is the really the heart of the game, is settle one of the two issues that are on the table. Um, so we'll go over these three political actions now. Um, placing, um, these cards are actually pretty good, but I think that there are some misprints on them. So don't completely, um, hmm. don't completely rely on the card. Um, to place influence, you take influence only from the available pool. You're not allowed to shuffle around influence that might be anywhere else on the board. You take um, influence from your pool. You must place, if you are going to place, you must place on exactly two issues. Uh, these issues can be either both on the table, both in the waiting room, or one of each. The only caveat is that wherever you place influence, you must at the end of your turn, have the most influence on that issue of any player. So for example, let's say I was going first, I could place one here and place one here, and that would be a legal move because I control, I have the most units on both issues. So if Drew were next in the turn and Drew wanted to play, he could place one here and that would be fine because he would control that. But if he wanted to place here, he would have to place at least two. 
you could place more if you wanted. Um, wouldn't have to. Um, let's say we came around again and um, Garrick and Hector both decided not to do anything, which they wouldn't do. Um, if we got back to my turn uh, and I wanted to place, I could place one here and I would control that. I could also, if I didn't want to mess around with anything else, I could also place where I already controlled, basically um, reinforcing a position you already have. The important thing is that every time you place, you must control the two issues that you place your influence on. Or be tied can for control? Can never be tied. Somebody's always got to be in control. Somebody's always got to be ahead. So, um, does that make sense to everybody? Um, well, what if... So, can you place two cubes on one issue? Yes, you can place as many as you like. Uh, oh, you, you can know, do as many you as you available. like. Yes, uh, you can play. Oh, you can okay. you can go. I could if I really wanted this one, I could place five there. You know, Got you it. can you can Got use it. whatever you you can do whatever you want as long as at the end of your turn, you've placed on two and you control both. But and the, cubes, the pool, the cube influence pool is limited to is limited to fifteen. This. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So, like I was saying before, if I had these two out here and then in my next turn I want to do, so I can't move this here. Essentially, once you've placed influence onto an issue, your cubes are stuck there until the issue is resolved, is brought off the table. There are some events that can allow you to do certain things with the cubes, but they are few and far between. So basically, if you place, if you place influence on an issue, expect it to stay there until the issue comes off the table and is settled. Um, so that is the placement option for your political action. Your second option is to recover. And recovery is fairly simple. You can take up to six influence from the box back to your pool. If you have any exhausted military in this box, you must take it back to the pool. Um, if you have any military that is deployed, you may, but are not required to bring it back to your pool. The only caveat with this is if you do the exhaust, if you do the recover action, you have to recover something. So if at, at the start of the game, you can't do this because there's nothing exhausted. Um, make sense? Yeah, you can't just you can't just null action. Yourself. Right, right. Um, the third and most important action, political action, is to settle an issue. I'm not going to go over the whole procedure for settling an issue right now because it doesn't make sense. But basically, if say. There are two British on here and one American on here. If the anyone can settle this issue, okay, if, say it's a Drew's turn. Drew could settle this issue if he wanted to. I would take control of it because I have the most cubes on there. But Drew can settle the issue regardless of who controls it. There are reasons for doing that. I'll, that, I'll get into that when um, when we go over the full procedure for settling an issue. Um, the most important reason you might want to do that is even though I would control this issue and decide how it was resolved, the person who who settles the issue gets to control all of this machinery of deciding what comes next, which is kind of important. Um, So you can always settle an issue, but it can only be settled if someone controls it. So, for example, right now at the start of the game, nobody can settle an issue because nobody controls it. As soon as an issue becomes controlled by one player or another, it can be settled by any player. Understood? Yep. Okay. Those are the three options you can place. You can recover, place influence, recover, or you can settle. 
There are two military options. You may, but are not required to take a military action during your turn. Um, I don't know where this came from. I don't know what happened. Whatever. Um, oh, I probably first spawn an extra. Yeah. Um, if you decide to take a military action, you can do it first, or you can do it last, before or act before or after the political action. Completely up to you. Um, but if you do if you do a military action first, you have to complete the full military action before doing the political action, vice versa. Okay. Your two military options are to either deploy a unit from your available pool or to demobilize a unit to the demobilization area. A demobilized unit can come from anywhere, including from exhausted or if it is already deployed. Okay. Um, we'll do demobilize first because it's simple. Um, if you demobilize a unit from wherever, you take it and place it in the highest point uh, box available. So the first one demobilizes goes to five. If this is already there and Hector wants to do something, it would go to four and so on. Um, so there's only one, only one unit per box. By demobilizing, you gain the number of happiness indicated in the box. So the first player to mobilize would get five happiness gain. The little green face is happy. The little red face is sad. Um, so that's a reason for demobilizing. Um, as I indicated, sometimes you're going to be on the verge of mutiny, so demobilizing for four is better than mutiny for one. Um, the other option the other military action that you can do is to deploy. Um, I may have misspoke just a little bit. To deploy a unit, you can take it either from available or you can take it from already deployed to some different deployment. Um, we'll assume that nothing is deployed right now. You can deploy a military unit to any region in one of these boxes, but each box can only hold one military unit. Further, each region can only hold one military unit of your color. So if if Great Britain has deployed to Africa, you cannot deploy to Africa again, but you could deploy to the Middle East or wherever you wanted to. Um, if Hector was here, I could not deploy there. I either have to deploy here or someplace else. Military units can only be deployed in these four columns. Um, the farther to the left you go, the more, uh, I guess you could say, aggressive your deployment is. The farther over here, uh, the less aggressive the deployment is. Deploying a unit has uh, a certain cost. If you deploy to this column, it also has benefits. I'll get to them uh, later. Um, if you deploy to this column, uh, there is no cost. If you deploy to this column, you can immediately recover two influence from exhausted, but you also lose one happiness. If you deploy to this column, you would gain three influence back from exhausted, but you would lose four happiness. The people want you not to be engaging in hostilities, so they are unhappy with you. Um, like I said, you can either come from available to one of these boxes, or if you were already deployed here, for example, and you decided that the action wasn't in the Balkans anymore and you wanted to redeploy to here, you could do so, but you again pay the cost. So if you had deployed here, you would already have paid two happiness, and then you go here, you already you pay another happiness. You also re you also recover the influence, but um, happiness in this game is sort of follows the laws of thermodynamics. You just gradually degrade until you get to zero. Um, you can go up, but you're generally going to go down. Um, 
so those are the two military those are the two military actions um Any questions about those? Nope. Makes sense to me. Uh, nope. Okay. Yep. Um, all right. Settling an action. Here we go. Or settling an issue. Here we go. Um, let's say we've got four reds on here, two whites, and a blue. Just for example, when you settle an issue, as I said before, anyone can settle an issue regardless of who controls it. The controller is the player with the largest number of cubes on the issue. When the issue is settled, the first thing that happens is the player who controls the issue takes the issue into their possession. Whoever wins the issue places all of their influence into exhausted. Everyone else places half of their influence into exhausted. If you have an odd number, you get to bring the odd one back to your pool. So if there were three, or in this case, in Hector's case, there's one, the odd one goes back to him. It's not exhausted. So it's half rounded down. Half, yeah. Okay. There is an exception to this. Let's say Garrick is the person who settled this issue. If you settle the issue and you do not control it, you get to bring everything back to available. Gotcha. So there is an advantage if you're losing and you don't want to sink anything else into it to settle. That's one reason to settle. Okay. Hector would get his back. Thank you. Um, the person who controls the issue and takes it into <laughs> possession then has a decision to make on Every issue, there's a decision to make. Sometimes there are three, sometimes there are four, sometimes there are two. Um, I'll go over the anatomy of the cards a little bit more here. Every issue has a region with which it is associated. This one is associated with Europe, for example. This one is associated with Africa, the Balkans, and so on. Um, this issue is worth three points to Great Britain. <laughs> Great Britain, nice. um, after after we clear off all the cubes, Great Britain gets to decide which of these options, uh, which of these options are going to be uh, written into the treaty, more or less. Should Belarus go to Poland? Should it be independent, or should it go to Russia? Um, so I'm Great Britain. If I chose the bottom option. I would lose one happiness and unrest in Europe would increase by two spaces. I don't like that because it hurts me. So I would rather mm -hmm. choose one of the top two issues, which means that influence or uh, unrest is going to increase by one in Europe. And let's say I decide it's independent. This little icon right here uh, corresponds to one of the strategy shits. There are a number of them. Um, this one is the self-determination shit. So I think that's this. I would take one from the bag and I would place it on the issue here. This has scoring ramifications for everyone later in the game. Um, so that's it. And the issue has been resolved. We, we move happiness accordingly. Generally, you're going to have unrest effects, you're going to have happiness effects, and you're going to most of the time pick a strategy chit. Sometimes you don't. For example, uh, if I had chosen this option, there's no strategy chit associated with it. If I had chosen the top, I would take the Bolshevik containment chit rather than this one. Um, some chits have, some options have multiple chits uh, associated with them. It's It's simple. You just do what the card says. Um, after the issue has been resolved to the satisfaction of the controlling player, this event card is um, executed. The part of the event card that is executed is the conference event at the bottom of the card. That's what this little 
tells you to do. In this case, either add or remove to unrest from the Middle East. Um, the person who gets to exit, make the decisions on this event is the person who settled the issue. Not the person who controlled it, but the person who actually settled it, whoever's turn it is. Um, it is possible that there will be an influence cube on a given card. In that case, the person who has the cube on the card decides how the event is, um, is settled. This, these events always have to occur. There's usually a decision involved, but they always have to occur unless the event says optional. None of them that are face up right now say optional, but it'll say first in bold text, it'll say optional, do this or not do this. So that's another reason for possibly settling an event that you don't, or settling an issue that you don't control is you want to have control of the conference event. Once the event is executed, it is discarded. Step three of the process is to run this machinery, turn the crank. The person who gets to control this machinery is the person who settled the event, not the person who won it, but the person who settled it. So if we're operating under the assumption that Garrick settled this and got both of his cubes back, Garrick gets to do steps three, four, and five. Um, Step three, you can do in either order. You get to pick one of these events or to bring down to the waiting room, totally under your control. If you were to choose this one, this one's got the little black dot on it for an influence cube. If you choose this one, you can choose to add an influence from your available to that card, which, as I just explained, means that you will control how the event is executed the next time an issue is settled. You don't have to, but you have that option. So you will bring one card down to the events. You also get to choose the next event, the next issue from the waiting room that moves onto the table. Um, so you could pick whatever which one you want and just bring it down, and that issue will then be ripe to um, be settled. It's possible that there will already be influence on it from influence placements, or it's possible that it'll be empty just like this one is, and then it can't be settled until someone wins control of it. With this spot vacated, you have to do step number four, um, which is filling this spot. You have two choices for filling this spot. Your first option is to pick two cards off the top of the draw deck. Choose one of them to place in this spot, and place the other on top of the discard pile. Your second option is to choose instead of drawing from issues already in the discard pile. You can take the top discard at no influence cost. You can take the second discard, the first one under the, you know, the top of the pile, by spending one influence, sending it to exhausted. Or you can pick the basically the third card for a cost of two influence. So there's some strategy involved with maybe burying issues you don't like, and then somebody else can bring them back because they do like them, and so on. Um, so that would be step four of the process. So we won't we won't spoil it. What's here, but obviously the first time this goes around, somebody's going to pick two, get rid of one, and put one here. So then the the conference will be set. The last step is to take a new event card from the pile and activate the top event on that card. Most of the time, this is going to be an unrest check, which we'll get into shortly. But whatever is drawn here gets placed in the open spot, and we do the top. We do the top issue or the top event. So it's it's highly procedural. It's all right here on the board to do. That's how it works. So basically, as I said before, um, there are advantages to settling issues you don't control because you get to you get to turn the crank and make the decisions on how on how all the procedure works. Questions? Yeah. 
Guess not. Guess not. Uh, <laughs> uprising yeah, checks. Pretty simple. Yep, pretty simple. Uprising checks. Anytime there is an uprising check. Uh, and I think this is pretty well handled on the card. There will be a die roll to see if an uprising occurs. The die, the dice down here, or as I noted before, as as unrest grows, the chances of an uprising occurring increase. Basically, you're going to roll a die and check it against the number down here. If the if there is an uprising check in Europe and the unrest is in this column, there will be an uprising in Europe on a roll of six or greater on one die. There are DRMs involved, so uh, there can be six or greater. So if it was here, it'd be five or greater and so on. Um, sometimes an event will say just a general uprising check like this. Uh, other times there will be a specified uprising. Um, for example, it might say uprising check in the Balkans, then you would just do the Balkans. If there is a general uprising check, you only check whichever one is the farthest to the right. If there is a tie, you check for them both. Make sense? Yep. Um, if Let's say this is there. Let's also say that the British have a military unit here, and the French have a military unit also in Europe. If there are any military units in these three columns, the owner of that unit can decide to add one or subtract one from the uprising rule. Basically, you're either acting to put it down or acting to inflame tensions. Um, the active player, whoever's turn it is, uh, gets to decide last what they want to do in this. So if we're saying it's Garrick's turn, for example, um, Hector would decide first because he's next in turn order, then I would decide, then Drew would decide, then Garrick would decide, depending on who has actually has units there. And then you roll the die, netting out. So if we both decided we don't want there to be an uprising in Europe and said, no, we want it to be, um, we want it to not happen. We would both say we will both want minus one to the roll. So even if you rolled a six, it would be four. There'd be no uprising. Uh, there's no cost to do that. Your guys are already there. You're just, you know, you're, they're just, they're just doing their jobs. So. Um, and that's resolved in turn order, you said? Other than yes, the, the decision the is who... resolved in turn order uh, with the active player going last. Okay, so there's no so, benefit to being like higher on the track, like for you... this purpose. For this purpose, no. But there, okay. I'll get to that in a minute. Yeah, uh, there. Okay, okay. The chestier you are, um, it costs more, but there are advantages, and I'll get Got to it. that okay. in a second. Um, all right. So, um, if there were multiple checks, uh, you resolve them top to bottom. So Europe first, then the Balkans, etc. Okay. Um, and you do all the checks first before you move on with the procedure. Um, if there is an uprising, uh, yep. if there is an uprising, we determine who is affected by that uprising. The player who is affected by the uprising is the player who controls the greatest number of issues corresponding to that region. For example, oops. Uh, let's say it's early in the game. I'm, I've taken control of this issue and there is an uprising in Europe. I would be the player affected by this uprising because I control the most settled issues in Europe. If 
there are multiple players if there are multiple players that have um, issues in in Europe, let's say Garrick controlled this one, we wouldn't know which of us was um, there's a tie, right? God damn. I've got the dead I've got the dead mouse hand going again. Um, in this instance, whoever has the chestiest military unit, we'll say whoever's farthest to the left gets to break the tie, even if they're not involved. So let's say Drew is over here. Drew gets to decide which of us will be affected by the uprising. So that's the importance of being farthest to the left. Um, cool. Okay. Like I said, where the uprising gets nasty is here. Once a player is determined, the highest value card they have in the affected region, in this case here, let's say Drew picked me. Well, actually, he would pick Garrick. But let's say Garrick controls both of these. Naturally. Um, <laughs> always pick Garrick. <laughs> once a well, player is once a player, yeah, once a player is determined <laughs> to be the target of the uprising. Their highest value star value card, base star value card, is becomes unsettled. They do not control no. it anymore. Yes. Yes, they do not control it anymore. That's harsh. Um, if let's say both of these were threes instead of a three and a seven. Once it's determined that Garrick is the target, he if it's a tie, he gets to pick which of the tied ones becomes mm -hmm. unsettled. But you always have to pick your highest the highest value one is always is always unsettled. When the issue becomes unsettled, it becomes open for bid. And whoever bids the highest will gain control of that issue. And it will again be all of the options are again open for being chosen. So, wow. Uh, Sorry, what are we bidding be, again? You will bid, basically, you're bidding to buy this card. Okay. And it will start with, in this case, if it was Garrett controlled it, Garrett gets to do the first bid. Mm -hmm. um, we will do then in turn order. You can either bid or pass. If you pass, it's a hard pass. You're done bidding. Um, um, okay. Sorry if I missed this, but okay. what like what resource are we bidding? Yep. I'm just getting to that. Oh, okay. This this is this card's a little funny. Um, if the card that's up for bid has this little rifle with a red X through it. Uh, mm. You can only bid available influence. Generally, they do not have this symbol. Let's say this one is the one up for bid uh, <laughs> up here. The primary, the primary, um, the primary currency in bidding on unsettled issues is military. Uh -huh. You can only bid available military or military that is present in the region. Uh, at issue. So, for example, if this was like this, I could use this. Uh, Hector oh. could not use this. So, since you've got boots on the ground in Europe, you can bid more. Um, so, you can also bid influence, but the primary uh, currency is military. You can think of the military as dollars and the influence as cents, in a, in a sense. Um, the important thing to know is if you have military in the region, that can count, that counts double. That's what this bid times two means. So gotcha. if I wanted to, I could bid four military on this because I've got two, three, four. Uh. Okay. So uh, if if I started the bidding and I bid two military, for example, then um, we're just going to go clockwise here instead of the Drew would have to either pass or beat two military. He could go two military, one influence, or he could go three military, whatever he wanted to do, as long as the bid was higher. And we just keep going around in turn order until somebody wins. Um, when somebody wins, they must exhaust whatever they bid 
for the um, card. Then they take the card into their possession and we redetermine what happens. So if it was this one, um, and I decided that I wanted to keep, for example, self-determination, we'd put self-determination back on there and we would again raise the EU unrest level by one. Okay. Anything that is bid is exhausted by the winner, goes to the exhausted box. Any units, military units, that end up in the exhausted box, you must then reduce your happiness by one for each piece that you exhaust. So um, hmm. this is a good example. In this case, if let's say I bid two, I could decide to take these two and exhaust them at a cost of two happiness. Or since this one counts two, I could take this and put it there. And that would only cost me one happiness, but then I would lose my deployed unit. Make sense? I think so. Yeah, you you don't get any of the happiness back. No, you don't know. No, no, that's it. just the sunk right. cost. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No, you you put them out there. The people don't like it. They don't get any happier. No one um, ever gets any happier. Everyone is always no. angry. <laughs> um. Yeah, I see a lot of sad faces. I'm not seeing a lot yeah. of happy faces. Before, <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm also noticing yes, the same thing. Yes, <laughs> there are no happy like faces. Like I said, it's like the law of thermodynamics, man. You just you might get a little bump here and there, but basically you're just heading toward the abyss. Um, before this is before this is re litigate before this is these options are rechosen. Um, let's say this was here. Um, Unrest is reset, but every time there's a successful uprising, the powder keg also goes up one. So the powder keg would go up one, and unrest is reset to here. If the powder keg was here already, it would go up one, and then there would be no reset. So it's possible for the unrest to get stuck here between this guy and that guy, but that's why this stops here and this stops here. Um, so. That's important because let's say this, we did this, we did this. Then when this is uh, when then when this is uh, re-resolved, Europe would again go up one or possibly two, depending on the. So you fix things and then you screw them up again anyway because the people are never happy. So um, that's how uprisings work. Um, the first time there is a uh, the first time there is a successful uprising, regardless of whether uh, there is anything. For example, let's say we had an uprising in the Balkans, but nobody controls any Balkans issues. The uprising doesn't unsettle anything, but it still has effects. There's still a powder keg. You still do a reset. Um, the first time we have any successful uprising, whether it unsettles something or not. We will choose strategy cards. The person who has the lowest score at that instant, based just on the value of the cards, gets to choose first. Then the next lowest gets to choose, and so on. If there is a tie, the active player goes first, and then in turn order around from there. Um, there are five. Strategy cards are four players, so everybody will have at least a little bit of choice. Oh, we lost Drew. Again. Um, here's how the strategy cards work. Each strategy card has four ways in which you can gain points at the end of the game. Let's take, for example, the reparations card. For every German containment, strategy chip that's on an issue that's settled uh, i don't know which one it is you will gain one point for every one of these and i forget what that's called you would gain one point um, the happiness one is a little different it doesn't mean that you get to this just means you get to take you get to score happiness twice it doesn't mean that you score double your ha happiness and then double your happiness you get to score happiness twice um, this one's interesting because 
here you get two points for each chit, but here you lose one point for sort of the anti-chit. Um, this one... This one, uh, you want to keep unrest low. You can gain up to six points or five points here if you have a bunch of low unrest. Um, let's see. I explained the Japan thing a little bit before Japan and Italy. If Japan and Italy, um, for this card, um, if Japan and Italy each decide not to sign the treaty, you will gain three points for each. So you could gain three or six or zero. This person has the opposite incentive. They want Japan and Italy to sign the treaty. So you could gain three, six or three or zero, depending on if uh, both one or neither decide to sign the treaty. Um, we don't, oops. We don't have any related to... Yeah. Yeah, these are all basically based on chits or unrest. Um, this one here is regarding a league issue. There are two, two, two types of issues that don't correspond to a region. There are League of Nations issues. There are also reparations issues. Um, so those are nice to have because they're never in danger of being unsettled. Um, so this one, for example, this person has an incentive to have League of Nations issues because um, you get two extra points for each you control. So, um, yeah, that's how the strategy cards work. And those will only be drafted after the first successful uprising. So that could happen soon. It might not happen until near the end of the game, depending on how the dice rolls go and the event cards come out. Um, the earlier it comes out, the the more control you have over your strategy decisions. Um, the later it comes out, the more opportunistic you can be based on what you see already on the table. Um, there is a card in the deck um, with 20 cards below it that is the race to the finish card. When that card comes out, if that card is drawn, um, when we're adding new issues, it must be added to the waiting room. It cannot be discarded. When that race to the finish card is eventually settled, the game ends immediately, and we count up points. Um, I'll go over those very quickly. Um, for every issue that you control, a player controls, they gain the value of the card listed on the card. Uh, let's see here. If you control an issue and you have one of your flag chits, for example, a Navy chit, this one doesn't apply here, or an Empire chit of your own on there, that is, in essence, a bonus point. So if Britain controls this, this issue and they have their empire chit on it, it's effectively worth six to Britain. Um, and that's regardless of any strategy card chit count. So if Britain had an issue, or a strategy card that also counted this, they could effectively get seven points from this issue. Um, As I went over, you also gain points based on your strategy card. And the third source of points is your position on the happiness track. The person with the highest happiness in a four-player game gets six points, then four, then two, then zero. As I noted, you cannot score points, and in fact, you will lose five points if you are at zero. If there happens to be a tie for a given position, both players score those points for that space so there would be two sixes but then you skip the four so in this case italy would then gain two and france would gain zero it's a friendly tiebreaker it's a friendly tiebreaker yep friendly for the people that are tied not yes, so friendly yes. For the guy. yes um that's it that's the points
Negotiation. Very important. Someone said there would be negotiation. And in fact, there is negotiation. All negotiations have to be public. Um, negotiations are binding to the extent that they can be executed in a given player turn. For example, if in my turn I said, Garrick, I will settle this issue for you because Garrick has a guy on it. Garrick, I'll settle this issue for you, but I want you to do option, the middle option. If Garrick agrees, then he must execute the middle option per the deal. Um, if I say, Garrick, I want you to do this, but I also want you to deploy to the Middle East. The deploy to the Middle East part is not binding because Garrick cannot deploy to the Middle East on my turn. Makes sense? Yeah. Yeah, I gotcha. Um, how do we pay for these deals, you might ask? Um, at any time during anyone's turn regarding any deal, any one player can offer to Garrett can offer to put three of his available influence into exhausted and allow me to take out an equal number. And this, like I said, this can happen at any time during anyone's turn as part of anyone's any deal. Um, you can't, you can't, if I own this and if I own this and Garrick owns this, we can't, you can't agree to swap settled issues. You can't agree to swap, swap armies or anything like that. Um, so it's you pretty can't much really just ex exhausted exchange influence. things. It's basically, basically that's the only consideration other than um, stuff that's, you know, no more amorphous, like we're going to work together, right? Yes. <laughs> um, so most of the negotiation usually revolves around um, settling things and um, bidding on things if they're unsettled. Or sometimes doing things with the events that you want people to do. Um, but you can negotiate on anything. The only thing you can't do is generally trade stuff other than in and out of the exhausted box. Um, and they are binding in, you know, basically for the transaction. Now we just wait for Drew, I guess. Well, on that note, Drew said he has a power outage. Oh. <laughs> yeah. What? Really? Yeah. Wow. That sucks. It does suck. For him... <laughs> Vijay Anagara <laughs> loaded up. <laughs> so we could we modify could go this with three, three because because conveniently in a three-player game, Italy does not play. How much worse is th the three-player game? It's actually not much worse at all. Um, because, <laughs> because Italy... Um, I don't want to say Italy is sort of a secondary power, but they sort of are. Um, mm. Italy, Italy has sort of an... There are less issues that sort of directly affect them, um, but that also means that there are less issues that, that, um, that they can score big on. So um, happiness sort of becomes important to Italy and, um, and doing the right overall strategy becomes more important to Italy. But we would have to get rid of one of these. I would say we would just do the bottom. You know, we would get rid of this one. Yeah, that's fine. So the question is, do we want to wait for him at all? Or do we want to just go? Well, he mentioned this to do just over 10 minutes ago. We could give him a few more. Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're right, Erzada. Drew should have paid his electric bill. 
<laughs> no, it's great timing. <laughs> this is the game you can right, play nice. by watching. <laughs> Drew could just phone in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there are on the backs of these um, keys Let's to do the, the symbols. play by Twitch vote. Do you have any of those bots? <laughs> <laughs> Twitch plays Versailles, 1919. <laughs> I'll just run a poll every time Italy has to make a choice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because no, be right now sub once if you want me to choose option A, <laughs> sub twice if you want me to choose option B. That's how you do it. Yeah. Yeah, the the Italian position right now is there is only this is the only issue that really affects them directly in any way. Yeah. I don't know if it was your and teach badger or if this game's just easy, but that was an easy learn yeah it's easy it's 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 all procedural it's mm -hmm. it's yeah it's just but even that like it's probably the first time that i've learned a a war game from a cult teach i normally do a lot of homework beforehand but i think i already have a good grasp of i don't know about the strategy but at least the rules i don't know hector is this really a war game <laughs> There are no hexes. Uh -huh. There true. is no CRT. <laughs> there are no combat factors. <laughs> the DRMs are minimal. Post war game. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I think we're going to have to just tweak it to three player. I, I guess giving... technically, according to the way I laid them out, this is the one to go because. Four player, three player, two players. So okay, I have no Let's opinions. Right. Yes, I don't. So that means Garrick starts. Oh no. Um. All right, give me a second to look over these cards and try to parse them a little bit. Um, that's a lot of unhappiness on disarmament. Look at that. <laughs> It's a lot of points, though. It is. And it's not unhappiness for me. For you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Yeah, the U.S. is a big fan of disarmament. Why is he even here? He barely did anything. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, where the heck? Oh, the political action and military action. Oh, it's um any order. Yeah, yeah, either yeah. order. Yep, as long as you finish, as long as you finish one before the other. Yep, yep. All right, we're definitely putting something on disarmament, and I'm kind of thinking maybe more than one, which feels bold, but uh, yeah, that's put three. Um, you, you're losing a lot of un, uh, happiness in this card, uh, Badger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're not doing so well either, Hector. I'm just saying. You know. We're French. We were born unhappy. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's not quite quite clear to me yet what strategically I'm pushing for. Uh, well, if we're doubt, not drafting these yet. If in yet, doubt, right? points are good, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Mm. 
Yeah, and until there is an uprising, these are not in right. They're not and like we're not even close to an uprising. This no. needs to go to at least no. this column to even hit it. Right. Okay. Gotcha. Yep. I'll just toss one up there. And no military actions because I don't know what I'm doing yet. Wow, you did three. I did three because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so as I explained before, that means if you want to place there, Hector, you have to place at least four there. Yep. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm definitely... I'm not trying to fight Garrick. Um, it didn't work out for me last game we played. <laughs> Okay, uh, doing this, and I'm putting three on this one. Ooh, oh my. Yeah. Um, okay, and in my military action, I'm just going to demobilize right off the bat. Yeah, what? <laughs> I am Once they're there, the once they're, there they're gone forever. They're That's, gone forever? Is that like a yep. terrible thing to do first turn? Well. All right, I won't do it. Well, <laughs> I, it, it, maybe, maybe not. I mean, you by demobilizing, you limit your ability to control events, you know, just by your presence. And That's you true. limit and you limit your ability to. Yeah, the thing yeah. is, I do not want to commit to any of these fronts right. until like the right. uprising. Well, you can always commit to this one to the far right because it it costs you nothing, mm. and it gives you more bid power there. But you mm -hmm. don't know mm -hmm. that it means it doesn't mean anything because nothing is. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Uh, okay, I will. There's a lot of EU upri uprising, though. I think maybe I'll just do that. Uprising, I'll go here in the EU. That costs you two happiness to do to go there. If, for right now, if you want to be just in there, I would just go here because mm -hmm. it doesn't cost you anything. And if you want to, you can always yeah. deploy him somewhere else. But oh yeah, if you go if you go here, one of the benefits uh -huh. of being chesty is that you regain influence. Not that that matters yet. Not, Not that, uh, but you don't I have see. anything to regain. So right. okay. all you right. would be doing is you'd be tanking your happiness for <laughs> nothing. I mean, you'd be reserving the spot, basically. Which you'd is, be reserving the spot, which is a little bit but, of something, maybe. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. I'll go ahead and leave that there. So that is my military action, and that's it. All right, your move. Riton. We can't just give Garrick seven right off the bat, can we? I'll lose Garrick. it in a in a uprising. Come in on. A, it's in real an uprising. Here. It's possible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Box pop. <laughs> Tanking your happiness for nothing. A French autobiography. <laughs> that is perfect. All right. Yeah, just to just to be fun. I will go with four here. Hell yeah, Badger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then it's just back to me. Wow, look at that. Um, and so he would need to put in two. Yeah, at minimum. Yep. Gotcha. At a minimum, yes. At a minimum. I mean, but you're then he would also three. then he would Eric, also have to. Two? But then he would also have to either go here for one or spend multiples somewhere yep. else. Yeah. Yep. So. So and Transylvania is not really that important to the U.S. I don't think, but I don't think it's important for a lot of people, a lot of stuff. Y'all gonna regret saying that when vampires take over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, we're putting two on here because um, bidding wars are fun, and <laughs> especially when you're not part of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's. Yeah, speaking of bidding wars, we'll drop two on there. Yep. Uh, still no military action. I still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess I should deploy just because you can redeploy it for free and think about it. Uh, yeah. So let's just drop one in Africa, I guess. I, I should say, because I know this and you guys don't, there are certain events that will affect deployed units. Um, you tricked us, Badger. You tricked us. <laughs> yeah. But it, he didn't put one out on his turn. We should have done. <laughs> it, it, I mean, they're they're not they're not um they're not super common, but there are certain uh-huh. there are certain events where you lose happiness for having guys that are deployed. Oh what now? Uh, like get, one or, get back one or here. two. Get back yeah. here. <laughs> so I mean it's nothing crippling, but you know. And there are also events where it, if your guys are deployed, you have to bring them back and stuff like that. But that's, uh, the, okay. that's the fun of discovering the game. <laughs> I'm going to settle this as my um, right. political action. So uh, I grab it. Yep. This goes to exhausted. Correct. Yep. Do I perform this now? Do I do yep. a choice you now? resolve it now? Yep. Okay. So tokens or uh, Russia? Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, do you want to contain the Bolsheviks, or do you want to? Yeah. What is this thematically? Uh, basically, you're containing by creating Poland, or by be- uh-huh. giving Belarus to Poland, you are oh, working to contain the Bolsheviks. If you make them independent, you're you are supporting self-determination. So, right here, somebody can gain a point for self-determination. No, I want to say something mean. Right here, someone can... UK. Yeah. I'm going to go give it to Russia. Hey, Russia, take a country. And so, the Europe yep. is going to go up Close. two. Two, yep. And I am going to go down... One. Yeah. Uh, and then I perform the event. That's so correct. I get to, yes. I get to add or remove unrest. I'm going to add. <laughs> Hector got up this morning and said, I'm choosing violence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what is this influence? To- uh, that's nothing because that that's that's what happens now. Um, oh, if you try, if you choose to add this one to the waiting uh-huh. room, since it has the the black uh, cube on it, you can take one of your available influence and place it on the event. That mm-hmm. means when the next the next time that this is um, the event is executed, you will get to make the decision rather than the person. Ah, saying. okay. Oh, that's cool. Nah, we'll chill. I'll go. Uh, we'll go here. Okay. And then you pick one of these to come oh. from the waiting room into the... Yep. I can't believe this. it. <laughs> and now you will... Oops. Do I... Draw two. Is it secret? Nope. Draw two. Flip them over. And decide which one you want to put here, and one goes to the discard. Yeah, I'll, I'll do this one. If someone could help me with a settling, like you. Yep. Uh, I'm done. Oh, my nope, military. Nope, nope. We, we need nope. an event. We need an event. We yep, need an five. event. Yep. Now oh, there's going to be. Yep. So you draw the top. Draw the top event. Flip it over, and then we'll do the top event. Uprising check. Minus one to die roll. So since these Uh-oh. are both here. Hmm. Um, they would both check, but since it's minus one to the die roll, it's impossible because it only fires on a six plus. So there's no real okay, no real. Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha. So now you okay. can do a military. Yep. Uh, my military is. I'm gonna go ahead and go up one here. 
Um, so, oh, just, wait. Yeah, yeah, you can go. Yeah. I'm going to actually go down here to... I'm just going to go here. You might want to stay in Europe back. since you're the guy when, with... Now you've got skin in the game in Europe. So, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Can I remove Drew's flag from the score? No, leave it there because we need it. Um, Italy is still in the mix for signing the, or not signing the treaty, which gotcha. is important for these two strategy cards. Uh, that is me. <sighs> what does Herbert Hoover do? Yeah, so he, here's one, like I was saying before, too. Here's an optional, <laughs> which means that whoever whoever settles the issue when Hoover gets down here eventually can either reduce or not, which is... Um, All right, we'll settle this issue for Garrick. I don't want to get in a... You don't want to get in a bidding war? No. Um, <laughs> so, since, since I'm oh the God, one who so settled smart. it, I get all my stuff back. <laughs> yep. I wonder what he's going to pick. Um... I mean, it's definitely not the bottom option. Yep. Damn it. I'll I'll move your thank I'll, you. I'll let you think while you're. I'll do this. I, th I think we're just going to go with limited and and drop everyone's happiness. Uh, mm. I don't know that putting a uh, whatever type of issue that is a German issue on there is uh -huh. going to be good when I'm almost definitely going to lose this at some point. So. We'll just go for the full effect that we can get right now. All right. Yeah, ouch. So that's, that's step one. So now we do this uprising check in the Balkans. There will not be an uprising there, so we'll just get rid of that. Um... I'll bring Hoover in, and <laughs> I will place a cube there. I can't believe it. <laughs> uh, what do we want? We'll bring that one in. And we'll take off of the pile here. Let's decide the fate of Kurdistan, completely disregarding the desires of Kurdistan. <laughs> um, that's what we're doing, isn't it? Okay. And... Um, <laughs> What do we have? Uprising check. Plus Uprising one check. to die Plus roll. Plus one. Oh, very good. Okay, so we do Europe first. Um, okay. There will be a plus one to the die roll. Hector, you get to choose whether you want to add one or subtract one. I will I add think one. You can add, I think you can also choose not to do anything. But uh, I will add one. Okay, so... Uh, it doesn't matter who rolls it, and I don't know where it went. Does that just mean you... What? Where did our die go? Where just die press go? the button at the bottom. Button at the bottom. Oh, excellent. So it's plus one net? Is that correct? Yeah, just, just, no, it's no, plus, I, just press the one it's button. It's plus two, yeah. But um, I, I just meant for it's plus two net because Hector added one, right? 
Oh, that's right. Yeah. No, that'll, that'll ask- roll two dice. Yep. Oh, it's asking me to place the die on the pad and roll again. Oh, is it? Yep. You can try it. Oh, so that's why D6 was sitting on there. Hold on. Let me spawn another one. <laughs> I couldn't figure out why there was one there if it wasn't being rolled as part of... Yeah. What do you even do, Pad? All right, hold on. We were messing with it before, and then we... There we go. Okay, here we go. What? Nothing. Damn Nothing. it. Nothing. Okay. Uh, now we have Mideast, and that's just going to be plus one. Nobody can modify it, so. Nothing. Also nothing. Um, so now I can do a military. And I... uh, Do you need to pick a issue? Nope, I already did. There's an everything's, empty spot here. Oh. Everything's full. Yep. So I will deploy there. Just to get my, ah, he beat me to it. Get a say. No, he's gonna go full. Maybe. Hum, hum. Let's see. Let's settle. What is reparations? The stock market thing? Where's like uh, the, the on the back? Oh, never mind. I see it. There it is. Uh, German reparations. German yeah. reparations, yeah. Which is sort of the anti particle to the growth you're either in favor of crippling their economy or letting the world economy grow. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't, uh, I looked, yeah. I'm France and half my shit's yeah. on fire. You so can see I'm that. You can see that here. You can see that here on this uh-huh. one. If you do global trade, you want factories. You don't want to cripple Germany. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, I saw that you ha- the previous one was for represent reparations. The one that we removed. Yep. That's cool. <laughs> Still don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, it's hard to know. Yeah. If in doubt, chase points. Again, I still don't know what the U.S. is doing here. (laughs) So the question is, do you want Hector to just um, settle this issue right away? Hmm. Because that's what he'll do, I would imagine. Right, Mm -hmm. right. And I don't know how much we should be fighting each other over these issues, how much we should be pushing things forward. We'll dump three on there. Oh, come on. Because I don't know what's good for me. And we'll dump... One up there. And we'll take... Military action. Going there, losing two happiness. And grabbing three influence cubes back. Ouch. He really does not want to lose this disarmament. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, 
Uh, um, okay, I'll put two here. Two here. <laughs> <laughs> and then I will move my military unit. Hmm. <laughs> I kind of want to. Badger, what are you going to do over here in Europe? I doubt he's going to that spot. <laughs> <laughs> if you want it, you better I take just, it, man. I just want to make sure I've got a, the ability to bid, you know? I'm this gonna... is bonk. All right, I'm out of here. Um, uh, put another military unit here. That's it. The hell's demobbing? That's what I was just oh, wondering. Oh, demobilization. Oh, demobilization. Demobilization. Yeah. Got it, got it. Yeah, it How is. How important is German East Africa to you, Hector? What? How important is German East Africa to you? Who? <laughs> because I don't think Garrick. I don't think Garrick is going to fight you over it. He did. He put four. Do you want to resolve it? Would you give it to me? UK mandate? Oh, that's interesting. I mean, it's, um, a, little, it's a little hit to you, but it's, no one, it's not a hit to me. No, it's five, I'm definitely it's five, doing it's five points for you. Yeah, yeah, but see. I want. Don't I want this this symbol yeah. here? Yeah, that would make it worth six to you. So I'm asking. I'll do that, up. Badger. If you put one of your discs in front of Garrick's. <laughs> Come on, that does not seem <laughs> worth it, Badger. That's that's that's, that's my uh, negotiation strategy. Come on. <laughs> I thought we you, were cool, Britain. I'll let you in the wrong faction then. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you boys fight it out. I'm going to go two here. Damn it. And two here. And I'm not doing anything with military, so. Uh oh, this is bad. Garrick. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, and settle the issue. So I get all of these back. Uh huh. Yep. Uh, I I'll will. Just oh, put you're these away for yep. you. Nope, you get to choose. Yeah, you, it's all yours, you. Hector. Oops, I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> it's all badgers. You can take it on the table. <laughs> yep. Yep. Okay, but he gets to do all of this other stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll do yeah. French mandate. Seems like an easy choice. Africa goes up to Uprising. Um, and America and Britain are a bit sadder. Yep. And the nice thing about these cards then... Oops. Why is it going <laughs> to my hand? You keep pressing one, I think. Yeah. No, I'm not. I've just, I've got, I've just got my mouse. You can, you can do this with them to save space. Yeah. Because... I don't know. I don't I know why it's going to my hand. I'm just, I'm yeah, not... you must be. There must be something like pressing. Yeah. One so don't forget to put something. your little flag on here then. And the flags are your flags are here. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Yep. All right. You resolve you that. that? Uh, Badger, the event is yours to resolve because you have influence on it. And. I will not reduce unrest. No, wait, do it, Badger. I'll give you I'll give you a influence cube nope. if you do it. Nope. Wow. Okay. Um I have no clue which of these to pick. Are they all uprising checks? No no no, they're the bottom halves now. I'm sorry, when we draw a new one. Oh, not always. I was going to say, we always, saw one at one point. Most, mostly. 
mostly. Okay. But not always. <sighs> I'm getting, my five is going to get wrecked. Why did I even buy that? <laughs> this is a pretty. This is a pretty powerful conference event. Unsettle, yeah. But since there are no reparations issues out there right now, it's not especially powerful. So, where would it indicate its reparations? It's just like here. It says league. Okay. There are some that say reparations on them. League and reparations are otherwise, they're not subject to uprising. So this is the only way to unsettle them. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. We'll just... I feel bad for Drew because he's the one who suggested... I know, I know. (laughs) Although we had talked about it before. Yeah, yeah, we have. Yeah. Um, All right. I just, yeah, I just feel bad for him. Oh, yeah, yeah. It makes total sense. It is fortunate. Um, let's move. <laughs> sure, we'll move this one down. Um, Kurdistan. Nice. I don't think I care about either of these events very badly, so let's draw from the wow. deck. Togo land? That can't be a real place. Yep. Yeah, Togo. Yep. <laughs> it's that a seems real country. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's no. I have concerns. Um we'll just toss that one out because I don't know what I'm doing. Uh and then we need an event. Gossip. Each player recovers Ooh. four exhausted influence. <laughs> really? I see. <laughs> Should never have moved that military. All right. Yes. Uh, that's my political action, military action. I'm succumbing to pressure. I'm going to demobilize the five space. Uh. Five. Well... He pulled the ripcord, so first thing I'm going to do is... (laughs) 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 Thank you. Uprising check in Balkans. Add and subtract. No, don't care about that. Uh, okay. Yeah, I guess I will settle the... No, we're we're cool here. I'm going to go here with four. And I will go here with three. I'm done. Can I only demobilize? That was my action. Yeah, yeah. Demobilize. Yeah. Basically, you know, okay. basically, you can only move one mm. one disc around. Ah, uh, this sucks. <laughs> I sh- I totally should have went here. I love that this game looks really nice for a GMT game, like with all these ornate but clean graphics and, and art and everything. And then the event <laughs> event cards are just plain beige with with <laughs> a picture on it. Dead people's faces on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it doesn't even have like some fancy display art like the issues do. It's just beige. <laughs> All right, I will just add to where I'm strong. Hmm. Uh, 
<sighs> hmm. What are you doing, Badger? You're sandbagging over there. Got no issues. I've got plenty of issues. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he knows something we don't. I know. Well, he said the person that's in last place picks these strategy cards yeah. first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All under your breath. <laughs> to, the yeah, that, to the extent that that matters right now. Um... Yeah, I guess we, we don't have any of these. Yeah, there aren't it's, many. It's so interesting that you draft them after the first uprising, because it means you kind of have to play without a proper aim for a while, mm -hmm. which is interesting. A lot of these are, when you math it out, each of these can be roughly worth an issue. So... Yeah, it, it doesn't so depending, surprise me. Yeah. It, yeah. Um, so, I mean, really the issues are what matters, but these can these can do interesting things. And they also oh, that's create they also create sort of cross tensions. Right. Or, I don't know, train base, this thing's worth 14 points. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It hey, just... I gotta replace Drew, okay? So <laughs> who else is gonna be? You don't, you don't have to. Let me just put that out there. <laughs> um, they can also sort of oh, okay. I could because... stop tunnel visioning yeah. trying to screw you over the <laughs> <I'm not laughs> yeah. Everything's sort of relative in that mm -hmm. for example, all three of these have self determination. So it's probably good to get self determination. Yeah. Well, but but Nobody gains either. There's no edge. You're all in agreement on if everybody, if we pick these three, self determination doesn't really matter anymore because there's no, there's no edge for anyone. So I think I'm going to settle Transylvania. Heck yeah. Maybe. Nope. I, I do things. Sorry. No, no. I, I was I was thinking you, about you it. Maybe. Uh, oh, I'm I'm sorry. Uh, well, let's talk. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Put it back. We're putting it back. Damn it! So close. I was like, maybe I can gain power by controlling what comes next. And I was like, eh, there's, there's not that much to be controlled. We'll, um... Carrick, mm -hmm. why are you picking up four? <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking. <laughs> I have to hold four cubes while I think. <laughs> it's unrelated to anything on the map. I'm sure. <laughs> Tick. Ah. Uh. Yeah, we'll dump four on here. <laughs> and that's how I know I made the right choice. <laughs> and <That's> rude. <laughs> we'll dump. Three on there. No military. Action, I don't think. Yeah. Oh, actually, no, no. We'll, we'll pop this in there. Take it back. 
Uh, nice. Uh... I have to fight you for this. It's like not even a choice. But this boy is... Damn, this boy's good. Yeah, that's actually exactly the reason I stopped settling the issue for a second. I was like, wait a minute, I'm giving up the tempo of not being able... No, I could have influenced him. You oh, maybe I did want to. You. It's fine. It's fine. You choices were made. Back? Nope, choices were made. Damn it. Now I'm in the same situation. Um, Badger. Okay, I will... I think Badger's gonna do... Settle an issue, because I think he wants to do that. Yeah. So I'm going to put two here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I will... I can't put... I can't put any in anywhere. So my military action is going to be... What'd you do? Wait, what? Uh, he uh, he added more to this, and he doesn't have uh -huh. enough to outbid anybody oh. on any of these. Well, then you've got it. You've got, you must place on at least two. I was gonna say, does so he have to raise his yeah. bid there? Yes, you'd okay. have to. Sub yes, you'd have to. Yep, you always have to place on exactly two, and you always have to You're be right. controlling. You're right. When and if you right, can't do right. that, if uh -huh. you can't do that, then you either have to exhaust, you have to do, or uh, recover, or settle. Uh, yep. Gotcha. Um, man. I just... Yeah, okay. Um, I am good. I'm just going to go with... It. Well, Vulcan is getting unrest, so I'm actually going to switch it down over here. I'm done. I could demobilize more than one military, right? Yeah, well, one per one per turn, and but one yeah, per you space. Can but yeah, you can. Yeah, you can demobilize your entire. I thought about military it. Military, if you want, but then you, yep. you, you know, you have nothing left to bid. Um. Yeah, I want to point out, Badger, that this thing you could be the gossip queen. Seems pretty powerful. <laughs> All you gotta do is resolve an issue. I don't know why, but when you said Gossip Queen, I just immediately heard that in like, like in ABBA. Like, Gossip Queen. <laughs> queen. <laughs> 17. <laughs> Can I trade you anything to pull it? Oh, okay. How about this? I will do oh, the. I'm not doing eight. it. I'm not doing it. I got it. Gosh, you got your own fish to Do fry. I want to... Damn it, I thought for sure you were gonna I wanna grab. resolve an issue. Why am I fighting like both of you on two different fronts? This is awful for me. <laughs> I don't know why you put four in here, dude. Because there's US sadness on two of the results. There is one US sadness. Yeah, unacceptable. <laughs> All right, since you guys are doing this, I'll do this. Okay, that at least Two, removes three. any of the decisions there. Yeah, now I kind of don't want to do... Yeah, I'm not tempted anymore. Two. <laughs> no. 
Uh, what is this nonsense? <laughs> this is nonsense of the highest order. If you do it, I'll give you a cue back. He'll give me a cube back? Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? If I do it, I'm going to get all the cubes back. No. They're going to go to... No, I'm exhausted. the active player and I'm not going to win it. He's the active player, so he'll get all of his back. Hmm. Um, Denny Dean. Oath stream next one should be next Monday. Root stream should be either tomorrow night or Sunday night. We're still figuring that out. Nice. Yeah, I think your that options, are, stream you guys your options are pretty limited for placement, Garrick, if you really wanted to place, but I don't They they definitely are. <laughs> Have a good night, Rocky. And Chocolate Blue, thank you so much. Two months. I appreciate it. Um uh, I could try to bargain with Hector, or I could just be happy knowing I'm getting my five cubes back. That feels pretty good. Yeah, let's just get my five cubes back. Hey. Yeah. All right, I will do the French mandate again. That is no. one way to do that, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I get an empire thing. Can I make a yep. copy of this, or are they? It's, it's, a, it's an infinite bag. So. Yeah. Infinite bag, gotcha. So the U.S. loses one happiness. Yep, I just dropped myself right. one. And then the Middle East the Balkans and the, the Middle Balkans East. gain a... Yeah, has anyone done that yet? Nope. I have not. Which means the Middle East is now in the lead for general uprising. Right. <laughs> in the lead. All right. Um, nobody controls that. So uprising check in the Balkans. Adding or subtracting one die roll for each Bolshevik strategy token on a settled issue, of which there are none. none. Okay. So that, yeah. there's no need to roll because. Yeah. Gotcha. That can't happen. So. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and bring down Gossip and drop an Influence Cube on it. Ooh. What happens if you're asked to exhaust Influence Cubes, but you don't have any in the supply? Do they come off the board? Nope. No, you just... So stay poor is my goal. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll drop that down there. My music just got very intense. Uh, let's... <laughs> let's keep pushing the deck. Surely good things are further in, right? Surely <laughs> not. So I looked up uh, World War I lo-fi. It's kind of a genre of music of <laughs> kind of like background what? That's ambiance. A, that's a genre? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, well, lo-fi is, but there is a video that's 32 minutes of soothing, relaxing, meditating World War I sounds for studying and thinking. <laughs> With 4 million views. <laughs> Right, that was the part I was surprised by. Not the lo-fi, the World War One lo-fi. Yeah, <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> so we have an uprising check in the Middle East. We do indeed. Hector, you can do the honors because you're yes. the one with you're the one with interest there. I guess. Yep. I'll stop them. Damn it! No uprising. Okay, uh, and then that's uh, my settle. Wanna... I could do a military action. Um, I don't think I will. Where's oh, you've got them both out. 
they're both deployed. Yeah. And I don't feel the need to move one at the moment. Oh man, there's some good stuff. World War One meditation. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is, that, is that better or worse than listening to music that has no relevance to the game? It's definitely better. Is it? <laughs> yeah, this is for s studying and thinking. Like, if you could think and study while cannons are going off in the background <laughs> that's an issue um i'm i'm doing transylvania okay uh i'm gonna go ahead and do yugoslavia so i get contain token it goes on here yep yep all right uh balkans go up we do your gossip yep Player in two Mosa. regions. Add exhaust four influence or add unrest to each. Okay, Badger, go ahead and choose. What? I'm assuming Derek's... you're going to choose Badger. Because <laughs> of his salty deeds. Um... Sorry, that was, that was a joke. Go ahead and <laughs> choose a player. I think it's more about, yeah. You're not going to choose the guy with nine exhausted influence. He might. You never I might. Know. I'm still thinking. You're in the lead. Yeah. I'm non-threatening. <laughs> <laughs> we confirmed that you do not remove them from the cards. You only take from your supply, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll. I will. I'm, double. I'm sure that's check, right. But I'm, yeah. I just. I just want to make sure because I didn't actually listen if somebody answered. I heard, yeah. I heard Hector ask it, and then my brain was focused on something else. Um, yeah, I guess we'll choose, well, see, it's hard. So if I choose regions, then it's not like Badger cares. Yeah. So I think we have to well, choose. Well, I think maybe you want Europe to go up, right? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I'm being serious. Like, wouldn't you? Don't you want it to uprise because you're in the lead? I mean, no, because I still have a card that's vulnerable to being renegotiated, right? Yes. Yeah. For example, if Europe were, if there were to be an uprising in Europe, mm -hmm. um, since there's a tie as to who has the most issues there, the Garrick would decide who is affected, or yeah, oh. Garrick would decide because his he's the chestiest right now. So, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> um, but for example, if there were an uprising in the Middle East, uh -huh. you're the only one, right, with any with any skin oh, in the game. Man. There. So yeah, this would this would go okay. right. Which is why I'm picking Hector, and the regions are going to be Africa and the Middle Garrick. East. <laughs> I'm going to have control over this unrest card. So, tit for tat is what I'm going to tell you. Uh, uh, yeah, pick it. I, could, I could do it right now. We're, we're in the middle of my resolution, sir. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll lose. I'll lose this. Uh, yeah, control of the CPUs. agenda is is not a minor thing. Yeah. All right. It took far too long, That's but I finally brutal. finished thinking about that. Uh, thank you. Yep. Uh, to yeah, I guess I guess we're taking control of that. If somebody's gonna threaten me over them. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Regret everything. <laughs> um, Where's Drew? <laughs> let's. Oh, I guess I was supposed to pass my turn. Why? Why does it say it? I have no clue why it's on you. Okay. Did you? Did you just never pass it before? How did it I end up know. on you? That's. I guess that's why I was confused a little bit. But we're good. Wait, am I confused with what's happening? You are confused. I think it was my turn because 
you did the gossip oh, because you had that's what it there. was that's yeah, what it was yeah, yeah yeah he yeah okay i'm confused okay i took too long thinking and i got confused no you were you still these are still dead because yeah well actually i might change my uh decision because i want to have a cube for the sun y- yes you will do you will get this because Garrett got to do this because he had a cube on it, but now you control the... I'm going to stick with my can... choice, though, because that does create an interesting yeah. decision for you. Yes. So yeah. that is... Uh, which one did you... I said I'm going to raise the... the Middle East, I believe. Damn it. Okay. Yeah. So it is Hector's turn. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. 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 And I will do that. Okay. My yeah. bad. I got very lost. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, I will say tit for tat. <laughs> oh, look. Okay. There it is. Unrest. Um, and then I will bring down this boy. That's three. And then um, I'm actually going to use do the top one for zero influence. I am not surprised. And I will... I don't know if that matters. Doesn't matter. Add a powder keg to one random region. Okay, random region, you roll a die. And it just and turns out there, yeah. this, and then six is nothing. Three. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, okay, that is my turn. Yep. Did you want to do any military? Ooh. Yes, I do. Um, we need to go up here. So, sad face. Go down one. I'll grab two. Uh, and that's it. I just want a modifier um, control. Hey, I'm on the board. Yes, you are. Hmm. And League is immune to any of this BS. Unless there's an event. There are some events. Gotcha. Um, are we establishing an international labor organization or no? <laughs> sure, why not? So <laughs> two for me. That's two how I imagine me. all like world leaders make their decisions. It's <laughs> like ah, whatever. Sure, I guess. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, all of these go over here. Garrick or Hector gets to decide what he wants to do with his. Mm-hmm. Garrick, you want me to pay? Do you want to pay me? Pay you what? Uh, influence not to pick you. You can't. <laughs> well, yeah, you can. Yes, you could. But what's your price? A reasonable one. Two. That's nothing. That is nothing. At the same time, could just demobilize the one in Africa. This isn't the worst. True. Yeah, I'd rather keep your cube pressure up. Uh, go ahead and choose me, if you want. Uh, Badger, can I extort you? No, I'm just <laughs> not I'll, do, I'll do you, Garrick. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'll demobilize the one from Africa. Uh, do, does it not go here? Yeah, it no. goes in the two spot. Oh, it goes yeah. in the two spot, really? Yeah, yeah. This is only for. If there's an actual mutiny, or we run out of, yeah, yeah. Whenever you demobilize, you go to the best available place. Do I get the two happiness? Yeah. Hell's yeah! Wow, America, happiest place on <laughs> that, earth. <laughs> Backfired. <laughs> yes, the people are the people are happy. You're bringing the boys home, so. Uh, they were sent home. Yeah, I'm going to regret that later. We'll see. Um, okay, I will go ahead and... Ugh, none of these are good. There's still no reparations, huh? It's not even on the board. I'll go ahead and do this. You're going to put a... Yeah, I guess I have to. You don't have you to. You don't have to. Well... If yeah. I don't, someone's going to add two. 
Oh wait, I'm I'm not choosing. I'm we're doing it again. It's, yeah, <laughs> oh, we're it's doing Badgers. it. It's my turn. <laughs> we didn't even sit yes. there that long. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is not a confusing game. Why are we so confused? That's why they have yeah, the active player card. Player oh, yeah. I see. Okay. But we have the turn thing. We, we the have the turn thing. marker, yes. No, we're, <laughs> we're just idiots. We're just deficient, yes. Okay. All right, I'll take that. Um, do I want to bring... We're going to bring this. <laughs> and oops. <laughs> yeah, I'll bring this. I'll 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 put I'll put Africa back in the mix. Um, and then I will deploy to the Middle East. Oops, first we have to do this. Oh, right. Oh, no, 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 no. To yes. unrest to a random region. To a random region. I'm going to roll this higher because I don't like that little wimpy roll it gives. <laughs> Rolls a one. <laughs> So that's not oh, great shit. for Europe, yeah. Oh, does that mean this is locked? That space? Uh, yeah. No, you can you can deploy there, and that would push it down. Ah. Um, so you could push it down, but yeah, it can't go any higher unless Garrick decides to get out of dodge. Then this could go higher again. Um, but I will deploy here, and then that's my turn. Yeah. What do you mean by get out of dodge? Well, Garrett could, I could, Garrett could either recover or Garrett could recover. He probably wouldn't want to demobilize his last guy, but he could take a recover action. Um, but he would and, still be in danger of losing disarmament. Well, yeah. But okay. maybe Badger isn't saying he's trying to... idea. He's just saying it's possible for me to it's vacate possible. that spot. Yes. But right now, this is, acting yeah. as a, this is acting as a bumper. Ah. Okay, just making sure. Maybe we should use. <laughs> we don't need that. We're just we idiots. We'd those. ignore the card yes. even if we. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> if I'm ignoring that, my big name in front of right, me, exactly. I'm ignoring the card. Somewhere that's else. what I. That's why I thought. Well, that won't be a. That won't be an issue. We'll just. Um, we'll just look at the thing whose turn it is. No uh, military? Nope. Hmm. <laughs> what, you really think I'm going to move that, that piece out of that spot? Yes. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to get... Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to do a military thing first and move stuff from the balcons here. Gonna lose four happiness. One, two, three, four. You gain three influence back. So and gain three. Yeah, thank you. My goal is to not do a recover action this whole game, um, and I will do military intervention. Um, I'll do strong. So both the boys come a little sad. Would you like it to be a British or U.S. boat chit? Uh, is that a thing? Yeah. yeah. Is, yeah would it matter? Yeah, it's... Well, no, because it's not your flag, so it's not going to give you a bonus. And I don't think, yeah, there's no effect on any of the strategy cards. Okay, I'll just choose 
US just for right now, and then we'll figure it out. Um, okay, that's it for that. Uh, Civil War, go ahead and do your thing. Absolutely. Absolutely, we'll add it. All right, and then Hector? Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and pick this one. Uh, I guess it's worth the cube. Whatever. What are cubes? Uh, and then new event. Nope, that's thought. Nope. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, sorry. Technically, the last step. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, yeah. You're right. Yeah, this is why I don't love okay, the here. flow of this on this board. I know they, they did a good job of using iconography and stuff, and, and they tried. It's just, it's so back and forth and zigzaggy, it's weird. Yeah. Doing the top one again. Maybe I'm just spoiled by Jelko's uh, linear ribbon. Yeah, I guess, I guess that prolongs the game, which since I'm kind of winning, I, get, I don't. Right, I feel like you should be pushing the game, unless like, there's a yep. slam dunk event Ooh, on the discard. Ooh, uh, definitely do reparations. Uh, oh, it doesn't matter because this doesn't is matter. already it'll be, set. It'll be gone. Yep. Nutters. Uh, okay, I will do this one instead. Um, I think that is... Oh, no, now. now you do the event. <laughs> Crisis. No! One unrest from a random region. Six. Nothing. No effect. Okay. Oh, you badger. Yeah, I'll settle. I'll settle this for Garrick. Cool. Wow. All right. For free. Uh, Japan becomes deeply unhappy. One, two, three. Britain becomes mildly unhappy. You know, par for the course for them. Uh, <laughs> do that goes very there. interested into your uh, like why you did that, Badger. Well, not saying it's a bad move. I'm just Hector, I, I'm no. unsure. Uh, it's me. Um, yeah, there's nothing I could do. So, all right, and Badger, take it away. Well, we're obviously bringing this one down. Yep. Um. Bring that one down. Uh, what do I want to do? Hmm. We'll put this into play. Oh, come on. Where the hell are these unrest checks? Badger hating the uh, automatic die roller. <laughs> I see you, sir. You keep rolling ones this way. He's stuck in his old ways. This is the new way, old man. <laughs> <laughs> Get with the times. The future is now, old to... man. <laughs> yeah. I'm done. Oh, cold oak.
Yeah, I'll Christmas resolve it for seven. you. Nice. Patrick taking the cues one by one. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, I pretty much have to take the UK mandate. Uh, yep. yep. All right, I lose a happiness. There goes a happiness. Africa goes up by two. Yeesh. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm not going to resolve natural disaster. Uh, well, we may as well bring this down. We'll bring down relief efforts and plop a cube on it. Let's... Oh my god, this unrest is going to kill me. I'm the only one with an Africa. No, I no. just got an Africa. So okay. Guess we'll do this, uh, and then event. Player controlling most issues moves to influence to exhaust. Mm. <laughs> what the hell is this? Nice. Help. <laughs> uh, okay. Good news is. I think I might just recover. <laughs> I thought you were going to never do it. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know. You, you you can't pivot it's so now. inefficient it's so inefficient <laughs> not not in front of the stream not in front of the stream <laughs> uh no i will do it i'm oh. sorry I you. <laughs> the dream is dead hector <laughs> i know um i will you can uh, also deploy, when though. you re when you also recover when you recover you can also take one of these back to available if you want but it it doesn't no, I actually just want to move it down to here. Yep. Oh, wait, but I just recovered. Fuck. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, this game's hard. <laughs> no, I can't lose this Africa thing. That's five points. So I'm just. It's actually six happiness. because that, that acts as a. Act as a bonus oh point for you when I'm you get so your flag. So sad. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, I can't lose this. All right, I'm out. Oh, uh, yep, that's it. Well, I can't place. Well, I can, but. I will recover. All right. Um, And I will also recover. Uh, whoops. Hmm? What's up? I recovered all my influence cubes. Oh, that's way too much. How much did you have in there? Uh, I had three in the bank. Yeah, so, so you get six. Yeah, and then you get I saw more. you leave half of your cubes, and I was like, what? And then you get two more for the when you did this. No, he didn't oh, place right. there. He didn't, didn't you just leave it here, or did you move it? He no, moved, I moved it, it from the Middle East. Got it, got it. Yeah. Yep. Okay. My bad. Um, do I want to deploy? Yeah, I'll deploy him to here. Oh. Badger. <laughs> you lose two happiness? Yeah. Yep. 
What are we doing? What have we done to each other? Well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and resolve this issue. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so scared of this unrest. It's going to uh, really get me. Do, do, do one, two. We're doing Austria, obviously. Uh, and we need one of these. Then we trigger the event. I will exhaust to influence. I can't see over there. There we go. Nice. Uh, to reduce to unrest from Europe. Do. Then let's. Do this and Balkans and Middle East. Both are bad for Hector. Don't have strong feelings about either, though. Um, put that one there. Uh, we will draw from the deck. I just need one more turn game. Just one more. <laughs> I don't know if I have strong feelings about either of these. Let's go like this, I guess. Sure. Uh, an event time. Speech. Yes. Each player loses one happiness per deployment. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I lose one. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> All right, uh, and then no military action for me, I don't think. Uh, yeah. Wow. Uh, okay. God, another Africa thing. I think I'm just going to do this for one... And then let's get on here for four. You seem to have strong feelings about that one. And I'm going to deploy. <laughs> I'm so sad. Get three back. One, two, three, four. And then drop to ten. I only have two military units anyways, so I'm fine for now. That is my turn. <laughs> I'm sad, but not as sad as Badger with that move. <laughs> Dude, where are these unrest cards? You told me they were. We just we haven't hit any hit any die rolls. Yeah, it'll happen. It will happen. I committed so much to trying to control the Europe, um, but then the unrest went down. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly and surely, they just like calmed down, and I'm like, damn it. Yeah, that was pretty clutch for me, it feels yep. like. Also, this feels pretty clutch. It seems. I mean, four to five is. I don't think that much. I mean, but then compared to, to compared to three. Oh like yeah, it, we're compared to Badger, we're sitting pretty. <laughs> yeah, I think you're actually twelve sixteen to my sixteen. We are tied. Ooh. 
There's also the happiness bonus to think about. Yep. Yep. Happiness is basically worth one good issue. Yeah. Second place Which is worth I think one you have locked. <laughs> low issue. Uh, we'll see, Hector. You never know if... Like, maybe crazy things could happen and I'd lose a ton of happiness. Maybe. Um... I've got enough influence. I don't need to recover at the moment, but this is maybe a good time tempo-wise. I don't love indemnities, but also not terrible. Yeah, I'm going to recover six influence. All Feels right. like a good time, tempo-wise. Yep. Uh, Falcons. Not good. God, the Falcons are just getting screwed. I would get another one. Hmm. Okay, um, placing one here. No, I don't want an Africa one. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so difficult. All right, I'm just going to do this one. So this goes here. Uh, and I will choose the you Yugoslavia. Italy, you can make Italy happy or sad. I'll make them sad. All right, I've adjusted them down. Thank you. They are not going to sign the I'll treaty do a at this contain. rate. <laughs> uh, it feels like a failure on someone's part. <laughs> yeah, I'll do this one. Um, and then. I guess I choose this. I will not add one to the Balkans. Uh, Middle East, add two unrest to the uh, Pacific. Mm, I'll just get this one. I'll put a cube on there. Let's go ahead and pick an issue. All right, and then crisis. Come on, baby. Move one battery. Fucking kid. kidding me. Where are all the are these unrest, man? Five. Okay. There are no powder kegs in the Pacific. Nope. I am done. Yeah, my I'm keeping my military there. Wow, three. <laughs> you don't want any of these issues, huh? Um... Sure, why not? I'll just drop one on each. It's a good question, Shockle Blue. Hmm. Okay, I will trigger this. Okay. Have at it. Don't make me sad. Uh, I mean, I'm definitely making you sad. <laughs> uh, thank you. Let me drop that on there. Uh, and then points. it's your 
your action from here. Uh, okay. I will... I will not add one. I mean, you don't want to find out what a power cake is? I know what a one is. No, that's a powder cake. This says a power cake. <laughs> what the fuck is a power cake? <laughs> Hilarious. All right. No, I will not. <laughs> uh... That's a yeah, classic. The red squiggly line didn't show up typo. Yep. yep. <laughs> it must be right if there's no red squiggly line. Yep, no red squiggly line. I'll go ahead and do T.E. Lawrence. Hell yeah. I'll get an influence on that. Let's go ahead and... Oh, you're just going to give that to Badger like that? You kind of, yep. I mean, he's, <laughs> he's just gonna resolve it. Good. Okay. I want I want un unrest stuff to happen. That's kind of my plan <laughs> right now. Uh, yeah. This one. All right, crisis. Good luck, everyone. Hey. Check. Minus one to die roll. All oh, right. Sorry. The, the Balkans both... in the Middle East. In Middle East. So you need a. Five. Need a five or six. All right. So Balkan first. Balkans first. Yep. Nope. <sighs> Middle East. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Africa. I'm gonna do a plus one. Is it every? I thought it was just the two highest. No, it's just the two. It's just the two. Because they're the tied. Two highest. Yep. Oh. Okay. Oh, so, shit. Yep. Do you okay, want to do military? Uh, that is it. I think I'm off of Europe. I think I go down to somewhere else. Uh, <laughs> You're off of Europe. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Falcon. Not into this whole Europe thing anymore. <laughs> Old news. I sacrificed so much for something that did not happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Badger, are you right. triggering that? Yeah, we'll take we'll take possession of the high seas fleet. All right, I'm going down to happiness. I'm assuming. Yep. Hector, would you like to remove mm -hmm. one on rest from the Middle East? Yes, yes, I would. All right, and then Badger, take over. Does anybody have anything in the Pacific? Not yet. Not yet. There is one. I know I discarded it. I'll be back. Yeah, we'll bring this guy. Yeah, I want a cube on there. Um... Yeah, we'll put this into the mix. And then we'll bring this over here. Oh, boy. Minus one for me. Is... Minus one for you. Minus two for Hector. Thank you. And do I want to do anything with my deployed guy? I don't think so. Uh, what was minus two? Uh, oh my gosh. The event yes. triggered your yeah. minus happiness per military. There was a scandal. <sighs> I'm getting rocked. Two, uh, three more spaces and I lose the military. <laughs> I know, it's great. <laughs> this game is so bad. <laughs> this game it's is funny. Just a mute. It's just a little mutiny. It's, what it's just a little mutiny. 
Jesus. You, you, you could get ahead of the game and demobilize. I'll drop one on there. Guys, if I lose any more military, I'm not going to be prepared for World War II. Um, Wait, the, what, do you, what, do you, what do you mean World War II? What are you talking about? We're 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 ending <laughs> we're ending all wars. This this was okay. the world war that we're that we just got through. That we're, we're yeah. There's no way Germany's going to rebuild. No, no, no. Come back again. This was too they dramatic. Lesson. The world will not do this again. <laughs> uh Do you have any who has no one has nothing all right i gotta get on these things if i'm gonna lose points <laughs> i gotta get points boom and i'll do three on the league uh no military action i am done I will say for a negotiation game, there has been little to no yeah, negotiation. Yeah, well, we're happening. all sort of feeling it out. Garrick, if you trade me one of your happiness, I will appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> was happy a tradable resources resource? I thought it was just. Oh, actually, is it? I thought oh, it was just no, exhausted. Yeah. yeah, just, yeah. Just this. Yeah. This feels like one of those negotiation games that runs into the classic problem of. Players don't have like asymmetric resources to to fuzz up the negotiations. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. No, definitely. I think like everything's above when, the table. You when know you've got how much... four, it's hard to now because when you have four, uh -huh. you can sort of two v two everyone. Yeah, I can see that. So, so uh, it's not uh -huh. it's not necessarily binding negotiation stuff. It's more you know, implicit working together on things. Mm -hmm. I, I could see a fourth um, player changing up the dynamic so that people are like doing little, you know, penny negotiations to maybe do a middle choice instead of a top choice or things uh, like yeah, that. Yeah. Well, and we don't have this out yet, which changes things. And even when we do the way these fell, I don't know. We'll see. Um, it doesn't feel like a negotiation so much as like a, I don't know, a bidding game with some negotiation. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, like you know how much everything is I worth. May negotiate it's all above right table. Now. Right. And now. like it's the negotiations are zero sum. Right. Where exactly. We, we both, lo whoever loses, the other person gains the same amount, which is, which is weird. That being yeah, said, I'm for the second to... person that wants to team up with last place to take down first place, I'm all yours. <laughs> I'm going to settle this one for Hector. Hey, it worked. <laughs> I get that back. Uh... Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry, Italy. It's not going to happen for you. I'll choose Yugoslavia. So Italy goes down too. Oh yeah, Yugoslavia is getting everything. They got the Dalmatian Islands. <laughs> they got Transylvania. It's it was the only country I could pronounce, <laughs> so I, I've had to pick it. Uh, Add or remove two to the Middle East. Gee, yeah, what I'm am removing. I going to? No, it's oh, my. I got you. a cube that's on you, there. That's yep. you. That's you. Yeah, and it's my turn anyway. So yeah, we're adding. A uh, uh, big boy comes out. Bring him down. Oh, man. I don't really care either way on this.
We'll put in Vietnam there and yep, we do this. Two Ooh, unrest. unrest to a random region. Oh boy. <sighs> what, are, what, on, are, what, are you, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Two unrest to the Balkans. No. <laughs> Why does nobody use the automatic die roller? I don't because it's just a little men. wimpy. Yeah, it's a little wimpy. It. I like Dude, I like the big oath. button that I have. I like to find the big oath die roll. <laughs> TTS determines the die face I, before I it. Like as soon I, as you roll I, it, I know it does. Does it's it? more dr it's more dramatic. Yeah, Hector. The way TTS works is it knows what die face it's going to land on before yes. it does the whole animation. It just there's occasionally moments where like the physics will cause it to change what it was supposed to be, but uh huh. It's it's mostly for show. I have no military, so uh, yeah. I'm just I got distracted by I don't Hector believe that. rolling over and over. Sorry, I'm sorry. I don't believe that. <laughs> you don't believe that? What do you mean? I don't believe the number is determined. It has to be like the force. Oh, I guess which determines the number. Okay. It's just because like the, the, the way the dice roll, the physics like uh, seems smooth. Like it's not snapping to a number, you know, when it hits, when it gets to the bottom. I've heard that said enough that I, I assume it's true because I've heard that a lot. I've heard that mm -hmm. too. Yep. Okay. Um... Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, actually, I, I would love to know how that works. It's you guys ever watch a series called How It's Made? That uh, stuff yeah, is yep, fascinating. Yep. No, I think you guys are right, because if I right-click it and choose the value, it will kind of just do a smooth animation. Yep. All right. Witchcraft. <laughs> Witchcraft. Got it. <laughs> hmm. All right, Garrick. I, uh, now let's make a deal. I, I honestly think I have a deal that might work. Okay. I want to try out the negotiation. So okay. What's going to happen? You could put three down here. I could. Okay. Uh, give me... Oh, no, that doesn't work. Never mind. Negotiate. <laughs> Wait, am I next? You're after me, yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, put three down here. Give me two influence cubes so I could beat out um, Badger. And that would conclude the negotiation. <laughs> what do I get out yeah. of that? I want but you because to give me I will, stuff. I will, uh, I will, um, what, is, what is it called? I will complete this event. Not Dusty if you're going to place pieces on indemnities. You can't do both. Yeah, you're right. So that <laughs> leads you that leaves you open to do it yourself. That leaves Badger open to screw all sorts of Badger's, things up. No, but Badger's not gonna put anything here. No, he's not. Yeah. I think that's a win win. You do you. And I promise you my first horse in Vijay <laughs> Nagar. <laughs> my my firstborn colt. <laughs> Uh, hey, Goat Manish, we are, we're ruining the world. <laughs> <laughs> we're just making everyone unhappy. Everyone except America. America's pretty happy. <laughs> we're all fat and placated. Or no. Yep. <laughs> yeah. There are French fries and MTV.
<laughs> what do, what do? Otherwise, it's going to be us fighting for league voting. When an uprising happens, Badger, does the uh, unrest does resets? Reset? It resets. Okay. You add a powder keg and then you ah, okay. reset. All right, All right Hector, yeah, what about at a cost of one influence instead of two? I won't have enough to. beat Badger? Yeah, you will. You have two in your supply. Yeah, but he's just going to outbid me. He's going to do that anyway. Yeah, but it's going to be more expensive if I have two. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's one extra cube. You have like... We have all our cubes tied up. You're and, rich. I'm poor. Yeah. Indemnities. <laughs> I'm going to be poor after this trade. And that's why I'm trying to All be right. slightly more even. Time to pull out the big negotiation guns. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on, just two, please. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll do it for one. Yeah. All right. That works. For one, fine. Here's... Uh, do, do, do. Wait, that's too many. Whoa. Oh, that's too many. Hold on. Uh, putting the three on there and putting the one into exhausted influence, you get one back. Mm -hmm. And hey, you got it already. Uh, yep, okay. I already took it. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's my turn. You still have to place another one. Oh, you, I do. Yes, yeah, right. Yep. It'll go up there. Yep. Sorry, I'd mentally thought about that and then just, yep. didn't, just yep. didn't do it. I'm, yeah. Okay. It's oh yeah. So small. actually, this is why I needed. Oh, the one. <laughs> it's because I, I need to place it somewhere else. Yeah, place it up here. So, yeah. The two would have been better. Um, okay. Yeah, because you would have immediately I'll that. outbid me on this. <laughs> I would not have. Come on. Um, you say you wouldn't have. You no. immediately tried to move over there. I saw you. <laughs> All right. So I have to. Three, four, five, six. Like 20 peeps and 30 gold, this right, is... Goatmanish? <laughs> What's up, Hector? I was going to say, this is why I believe future deals are binding. There are repercussions. I mean... For stabbing one in the back after promising them something. <laughs> future deals are open to... Like, like they're, they're open to punishment. That's not the same thing as, as binding. <laughs> Somebody can still get away with with breaking the deal. Sh sure, sure, yeah. That I mean, that's true. Uh, okay, I'll go into Vietnam. I'll go into Vietnam. What what bad could possibly <laughs> happen by going into Vietnam? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yep, you're at settle, settle well, and recover our, stage. Our plan didn't work. Yeah. What do you mean our plan You're, didn't work? I'm still outbid. That, that was always <laughs> part of the plan. Indemnities. <laughs> if I had another cube, <laughs> then it would have been what? worth it. No, no, it wouldn't have. It would have been the same. You would have been outbid <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay. Um, at, is I, two cubes out of the question right now? D yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, what if I do this? Oh, no, no, you're right. Okay. Never mind. Uh, I think I'm taking my points and running. Um, yep. Oh, oh, so oh. You, yep. TTS. So you this get is, this, this is why I flipped it over. Try this. Yeah, that works. 
You have to catch it midair. So you get you get two back, Hector, and one goes to. Yeah. Oh fuck. Okay. All right, and we're choosing uh, one state, one vote. Every- yeah. Everybody oh, I do un- need a cube. Everyone unhappy. Everyone unhappy. Yeah. Uh, I can add two unrest to the Pacific. Nobody has Pacific yet. Yeah. Not yet. Just do it. Vietnam yeah. is in the mix, but Vietnam is in the mix. We're not gonna do it. Um, Badger's winning that. Uh, you don't know that. We'll move Rhineland. I said he was winning. <laughs> yeah. We'll move. This yeah. down and in influence. Yeah, yeah. It. And, and you're definitely putting one of those on there. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> All right. Um. Don't think I care about that event. Uh, yeah. We'll just push the deck forward. Uh, let's. Oh gosh, I didn't even see this. I don't even care about this indemnities anymore. <laughs> Go with that, I guess. Uh, an That's event. Two. Uprising check. Hey. Uh, <laughs> okay. Falcons. God yep. damn it. Help me, Lord. Hey, we have an uprising. We have an oh, uprising. No. Okay. I have three. So um, one goes away. You get. Yeah, they're all equal. So you get to. Uh-huh. You get, get to, to pick which one. Yep. Okay. Uh, where does this get placed? Uh, some place. Some place. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna put it up here near your yep. section. So now we bid for control. Starting with Hector, you can bid. You can bid up to two military plus whatever you've got, or you can choose to just pass. If if um mm. I didn't go over this, but if everyone passes, if no one bids, mm-hmm. it just goes to the top of the discard. Okay. Uh two military. Wait, does this start with Hector? It starts with Hector, yep, and then it goes to me. Um so I can't beat two military. I only have one available because I can't use this since it's not in the Balkans, so I pass. <laughs> And Garrick also passes. Yep. Because he can't beat <laughs> the military. Back. So this goes to exhausted then. And you oh, lose shit. one and you lose one happiness. Oh shit. No, I'm trapped. I can't put any any uh, more military up here. So oh, now, wow, I'm, I'm happy. So now this goes you add a powder keg and this goes there, and then you get to pick you get to pick what happens with this again get to retrigger it yep. oh interesting um all right I'm which i guess actually if you thing. wanted to do a different card that would be okay because we didn't really they're not they're not the same in that yeah. regard yeah yeah i see um, I, don't, I don't know no, they're all pretty they're difference. all pretty even yeah. yeah i'll just go back to yugoslavia again grew the italians over again hey. i don't think italy is signing misery likes treaty. company you know what i'm saying <laughs> I don't think Italy is signing this treaty. I don't think I'm signing this treaty, Badger. <laughs> you're the one who wrote it. You're, you're writing it's it. It's trash. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Max Aroni, Thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed them. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, the expansions and we are worth trying. They're really the cool. Middle, Middle East? No, it was, just, it was just the Balkans because they were way up. And yeah, goat man, you should definitely try it. I, I'm not crazy about food chain, but it's no, it's just the whichever one is, is worth whichever playing. one is farthest to the right. Oh, and it was tied last time. Gotcha. Yep. Henry Tr- Henry Lowe was interesting. That's a good point. Right. It was, was weird. Hmm. Well, that, that's not that wasn't bad. No. All right, it's my turn. 
Yeah, you just have you just have um, the decision on whether you want to deploy your military or not. So. Oh, that's right. That was the the check. I was like, yep. that's that's right. Um. Yep. I'm guessing you probably don't because you're the only one who's got anything in Europe or your when your neck is on the on the line in Europe. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But there's no danger there right now either. So Oh, that's what I'm that's right, Devrian. That's what I was remembering. We we need to pick a strategy card now. Oh yes, we do I, I, was, oh, I had right, a mental yeah. hang up. Like there's something that okay. should be happening. Yep. I think you're first, Badger. Uh, yes, I'm first. Uh, between us, Garrick, uh, I have, uh, what is that, 15, so 25. I'm almost positive that you have more than me. Let me double check, though. You have 23. Okay. I have 23, wow. I know, I'm surprised. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to have, like, almost double your cards, and then you're right at high score. Well, well, well. I will go ah. with Global Trade. Now, you can do this one of two ways. You can leave them over here and put your little marker on it, or you can just... I guess we'll nah. I'll, I'll, we'll leave them over here. You sure? Oh, yeah, just so I can... Yeah, it's, like it's easier to, to line everything up, I think. Whatever, I, I don't care. Yeah. What? So. When I go around and look at people's points, I'm typically panning yeah. over to their yeah. section, yeah. so... Okay, yep, I can do that. All right, and is it me next? Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. This seems like a somewhat easy choice for me. I don't know, there's maybe an argument for denying Hector one of the other ones, but uh, I don't, my gut math doesn't say that Delta is good enough. Okay, I'll grab this one. Because Japan or Italy are definitely not signing the thing. (laughs) Cool. Okay. Uh, and then, yeah, it was back to my military. I do still want to protect Europe. Yeah, we'll just leave it. Okay. Eric, what would I need to pay for you to give me one more cube? It's the only way I could guard against indemnities. Let's see, six, ten. One. If cube. you give him the, if you give him the cube, I'm giving him the points. So. Hmm. All right, Hector, you want the points? You're choosing the top option. How about that? Yo. (laughs) (laughs) It sucks. (laughs) Wow, that sucks. (laughs) Uh, I will agree to that if you promise not to use the famine on me. Promise not to use the famine on you? Yeah. Oh, famine. Sorry, it, um, yeah. Um, like, I'm losing five points at the end of the game. There's no way I'm staying above zero. Yeah, fair enough. All right. All right. All right. Uh, okay. Here's a cube. Two. Oh, one. Sorry. One. I'll place it here. Oh, I need to. 
Wait, it doesn't even matter because I need to split this. Oh, right. Is that right? Three, six, seven, eight. eight. That, yeah, that you're works. just. And then you, and then you put the other one someplace up here. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, but then you get bid to. too. I'm just going to have to go back to Garrick and <laughs> hat in hand to beg him for another card. <laughs> okay, I'm doing that. We'll see if that uh, end, resolves it. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm interested too. Um, that's it for me. Well, I have to resolve it. So, I get all mine back. You do. Okay, I do the top one. One, two. Oh, that almost worked. <laughs> uh, and then Britain goes down one. I have industry. Okay. All right. Uh, we resolve famine. I will kick out Badger's League issue. Oh, we fucked up. None of us have influence cubes to bid on it. Yeah, I'll bid one. <laughs> I don't hate this. <laughs> You're okay with this? Yeah, we basically tax him a uh, thing and... That's true. It offsets happiness. And I, I will take the bottom. I already take the bottom. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's whatever. We basically just made him spend a cube. I mean, okay. You, you know what I mean? I feel like I made out pretty well. On you're, that you're, yeah, no, you're. I'm getting you're the um, a cup half full kind of guy. <laughs> I mean, I'm typically pretty cynical. I just feel like I got the good end of that deal. I didn't have to worry about your event. That's true. Uh, you screwed my military. <laughs> I screwed your military. I, I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how does this work, Badger? Does this just stay in... Oh, does that go, does that go to mutiny now? Since he's uh, down to one military? He can, have, he can have one. So one of them, yeah. One of them has to mutiny, whether it's, whether it's Africa or that one. And yeah. did you get the so one happiness one for that? Back. Yeah. Yep. Um, which one of these do I want to put into play? I'll go with Vietnam. Uh, that doesn't interest me, so we'll do. Ah, uh, so much sadness. Move. Rising check in the Middle East. All right, no. I'll do this. <laughs> All right, there it is. There it is. Plus. Is it just me? Hector boy, has... boy, boy. Yep. This is four points. Ooh. Uh huh. Okay, so, uh, I bid uh, zero. <laughs> I bid one influence. Oh my gosh, this is so <laughs> gross. <laughs> that feels like a mistake, but nothing we can do about that. Uh, okay, yeah, so this I goes just lost. up one. Um, yep. I'm gonna fix your. Yeah, there's no reason not to take the UK mandate. So. Yep. So that's an extra point. Yeah, effectively, it's and extra. America's oh unhappy, which I don't and love. And the Middle East goes up to which yep. I don't like, but <laughs> it's gonna lose it right back again. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> well, we never know. We'll see. Um. 
do I want to do anything with my military? Nope. Oh, let's see. Hmm. Wow, that's a good card. I like your strategy card. Yeah, it's a good one, isn't it? I like it too. Yeah, that's why I chose for it. You. <laughs> <laughs> Are you telling me he gets times two for two times six or seventeen? No, no, no. I'm no, sure he'll, he'll, he'll get the first. He'll get. Uh, he he gets to count this twice. Okay, that's still whatever hard. is. Yeah. He doesn't get to double it and then count it in addition to the happiness. Oh, I see. Gotcha. It's just whatever spot he's in, he doubles yeah. it. Yep. Yep. Still a lot. Hmm. It's unfortunate. Yeah. Fortunate indeed. Ugh, I hate it, but I'll recover six influence. I really wanted to... Ooh, come on. I really wanted to resolve that issue, but I can't. I can't do it. Yep, I'm doing the same thing. So, this might be a wash for you. It sacrifices tempo and gives it to Badger, which I don't love. <laughs> The Badger. I love it. The Badger. Do I just recover or? No, I'm just going to... 
<laughs> I'm just going to cool. recover mine too. Back okay. To you, Derek. Well, in that case, I'll go ahead and resolve this issue. Still have regrets, but it is what it is. Six pointer. Um. Well, there's only really one choice here. Which one of those is the factory? There it is. Oh. I need no. it. I need it. <laughs> do you? I do. It's one point. Uh, it's one point, and uh, I don't increase Europe's unrest. You don't increase. Yeah. All right. Unfortunately, though, we add a powder keg to the Middle East and then check for unrest there, or for uprising there, and that's the mm -hmm. real problem part. Not for you. There is an uprising. There's an uprising. It is a problem. Because the only one applicable is Badgers. Yep. All right. Uh, and Badger will, goes first. I will Love bid it. one influence. Uh, do, how many how many rotations does the bid go? Until somebody wins and everyone until everyone pass, you know. Yeah. Uh. Until there's okay. one man standing. I'll bid two. So. Three. Uh, four. Five. I'll pass. For six, it's yours, Badger. Or you can have I it could... for five. Okay. No, <laughs> he's gonna drop me down again. <laughs> yes, Badger, I drop you. <laughs> I drop you to collusion. Co I call collusion. I uh, do we count. reset the Middle East and then move it up? Is that how it goes? Yeah, but since the powder keg is maxed out, it just... Yeah, but then we resolve the event, I'm saying, and it goes up by two. Because that's the... That's the effect. Yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah, you reset, and then you... Yep. I want to make sure we had the order of operations yeah. correct. Yep. So there's Ooh, a good... Oh, gosh. Oop. Get out of my hand. Yeah, there's a good chance that... Um, we're going <laughs> to do that whole dance again. Oh, that. yeah. Oh, yeah, we are. That's why it's a problem. But we got rid of that event, which is something. Uh, that sucked. Um, I mean, there's really only one choice, right? <laughs> no, please. <laughs> no, we don't need that right now. Um, you guys are kicking a man while he's down. Push the deck unhappily. Holy smokes. Ugh. I don't like it at all. Remove one unrest from a region of issue being settled. Uh, which was Rhineland that set this off? Yes. Okay. Yep. Unfortunate. Okay, okay. Hmm. Dear God. Okay. Feel trapped. Um. Oh, do we need to remove your military? Yeah, this guy's got to go. Yeah, yes. Which so he, gives you... No, because he's at zero. He's at so zero. He's locked in. Okay. Once you're... Yeah, he's in the pit of despair. Yeah, but it's... Where is he in the game, Badger? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, if I had a webcam on, you guys would see a real sad face. I basically <laughs> look like these icons that are on these cards. <laughs> uh, I will bid six. Or, sorry, I will recover six yep. and pass. Yep. Well, now seems like a good time to do this. <laughs> it does. That one goes back. Yeah, Garrick. I Don't you remember. I got six for it. Let's be real here. And and I accidentally ended up with an extra three. That's a, a very volatile three. Okay. We will oh, give. I'm just saying you there. wouldn't. You wouldn't have even been a country without me. <laughs> we'll give Vietnam to the French. Hector, I the wouldn't Americans. be. A- <laughs> It wouldn't be a country without Which me. Which makes That's the Americans true. sad. And it adds a powder kick. Into the <laughs> I wouldn't exactly That's be an independent long. country if you had your way, though. <laughs> and I get one of these things to put on there. Um, so. Add or remove one unrest from the Pacific. We'll just keep it where it is. I figured. Uh, I think now's a good time for that. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. I'll make note, Hector. I chose not to place that there. That's Badger. You chose it because then I would have been able to trigger it so that it wouldn't affect me. Because I would have placed six on the table and then done it. I mean, most I did it because I feel like I didn't need to kick you while you were down. (laughs) (laughs) But in your inaction, you are now kicking me while I'm down because now I have cubes to lose. Yeah, but my my feet are clean. Yeah, I like that one. Um, and what's happening now in the world? All deployed military to exhausted. Hey. Wow. Nice. Interesting. Oh, do I want to deploy? Oh, how many Europe's? Um, There's no one. Yeah, you're right. I did screw up everything over here. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might make sense I am to not lock. Helping. Yeah, I... yeah, it makes sense to lock until That's you need idea. to pull one out for <laughs> a um, yeah. unsettle. Yeah. This is just this is one of those cases not... where TTS is fiddly. No denying it. Yeah. Yep. Normally, I'm like, it's not that fiddly, guys. Come on. This, this is, this is fiddly. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. I'm just going to grab six of my guys, and we'll pull the military back while we're at it. Yep. Okay. I am just gonna drop all the dudes. What? Every single one of them? <laughs> yeah. I'm losing them anyways. Africa. I mean, you could choose to place like only two and then like try to trigger it ASAP and I don't know. You do you. That's fair. I get it. Uh, I actually like this Prussia one. So I'm going to do that instead. All right, that's it. Uh, Six on here, six on Prussia. Done.
Oh, man. That would have been better. Uh, before you take your turn, Badger, do you mind if I keep one cube? Nope. Go ahead. Thank you. For reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Relax, bud. Don't look over here. This ugh. I'm counting up <laughs> scores. Leave me alone. Oh, okay. No, I mean like I'm embarrassed. Everything's a mess. I gotta reorganize this. <laughs> that one does. Uh, this naval. I'm not helping. Industry. There's just the one Middle East out still. That's Garrick's. Yeah. Not much worth fighting over, though, because it's just going to keep bouncing back and forth like a beach ball. Yeah, just dropping my happiness. Well, I guess not, because I'm <laughs> as sad as I could get. Okay. Yeah, uh, the other the other mod's got a bigger table. So yeah, I didn't notice that. For... If we play this again, I may transplant this to a better table. Take the high quality image of the board and, and make it an actual board on a big table. The other one's got the the counting bowls too, which is nice. Is it that nice? Eh. I've always found those made uh, it harder to like click and drag and pull big numbers out. Yeah. yeah. Gonna drop two on there, two on um here. And maybe just call it. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna activate or resolve this issue. Okay. Um in that case, uh, we're going to do that, I guess, which means I need an Italian thing, not that it really matters. Uh, and okay. then, yeah, go ahead and resolve the rest of the stuff. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I lose a cube. <laughs> I've missed the order of this. Um, I'll get this guy. This guy will come down. And uh, drawing two. Throw him out here. Uh, all right, crisis uprising, so, Middle East. <laughs> oh boy, and it's a plus one, so anything but a one. Yep, yep. that does it. Uh, yeah, thank you. That goes back to the powder keg. Okay. Uh, I bet yep. zero. It starts with Garrick. So. Oh, because he lost it. That's right. Yep. Um. It's 
How much is this worth to me? I'll bid two. Ooh. Take it. It's mine? Yep. Okay. Not uh, terrible. <laughs> Man, this one just bouncing <laughs> yeah. back and forth is so bad for me. Yeah. Uh, so it Middle East goes up too. Yeah. I guess this is the part where you're just like digging the discard and deck for a Middle East card to get it out there. I mean, there's there's one sitting right here. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't affect me anymore because I'm yeah, I'm already losing five points. But yep. uh, that's that. And, that's my turn. Yeah, uh, you don't have to worry about the military action, Hector, which is nice. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. So that's to think about. <laughs> yeah, I love when I have to when I only have to play half a game. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna settle this, obviously. Yep, Badger. So one goes to exhausted for me, and then I get the rest back. No, half goes. Yeah, half, half, only half. My back. bad. Uh, yeah. Drop it, and then we'll flip. Beauteous. All right, I'm not. You can t- you can take them all, and then just take three of yours back. Okay. Here, I got the rest. You can just have a mess in there. <laughs> Uh, all right. Oh, browsing check in the Balkans. Oh, no, I'm sorry. You need to resolve the. Um, do I annex or do I mandate? It's a good question. How much do you want to bump up Africa, really? We're going to annex because <laughs> that's what we do. All right, I'll drop so myself two spaces. Two. All right. A present so. check in the Balkans. Hey. Uh, well, it is impossible. It's impossible. So, yeah. And we can't drop it. Um. Yep, makes sense. Mm. What's going down there? Just going to give him points like that, Badger? I can't do anything about it. That convinced you, Badger? No, well, <laughs> I mean, I'm no. not wrong. <laughs> He's no, you're not, not wrong. You want me to get more Europe stuff so that you don't lose your Europe. You've got Europe stuff over here. Yeah. Shh. I'm doing that. Okay. <laughs> if you say so. I've got a lot of bad You options. just stare ac- across the table at me and I just like put in my finger to my lips. <laughs> <laughs> and then doing the cutthroat sign. <laughs> well, that's Ugh. cool. So now we do this. One on rest to Africa. The ish. Yep. Well, that's, oh, that's specific. That's specific. That's specific. Yep. Er, yep. Can't even tell Africa and the Pacific apart. Jeez. 
<laughs> and it's all one big colony to you, isn't it? <laughs> I'm glad you pushed the joke uh, further because I didn't want to touch anymore after that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm grabbing six of my pieces back. Uh, is there any military action? I, I went through like several iterations in my head that <laughs> went like slightly less offensive every time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did the same thing with what I said. Uh, we'll just drop one in the Middle East uh, as, as folly, maybe. Um, I feel safe about Europe right now. I guess I could care about Africa. God, oh, maybe, is... maybe I care more about Africa. All right. Uh, okay. Um, settling this. Yep. Uh, doing Poland. So. We don't know which one that is if you flip the card over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I lose a happiness. Europe goes up two. Thanks. And I grab two contain markers. And then Badger unsettles the league issue of his choice. Badger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who do I? I am worried that you're. We'll do racial inequality. Yeah. Inequality. Whoa, now. That says equality, sir. <laughs> racial equality. Freudian slip. <laughs> well, it's America, so. Yeah. Ooh, got him. <laughs> Got you, America. <laughs> uh, these were on. We're trying to solve problems. Yeah, not France them. high fives Britain at that like <laughs> sick burn. Shit, I pulled a Hector. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Got to figure out where these went real quick. Uh, that was on there for sure. So that was on there. Okay, it's a straight influence bid. Okay. Um. Hector has five. Hector has three. Mm hmm. I'll bid five on that. Okay. Yep. Then it's yours. Can't stop it. 100% worth. But um, uh, I got I got everything unseated. Hold on, let me sort my shit. I was there. Yeah, table needs to be bigger. Where was that? On, that must have been on there. Okay, this goes there. Uh, we're dropping Japan by three. One, two, three, and Britain by one. Unsurprisingly. I don't know where this goes. This may have been something that was Hector unsettled or Yeah, I'm thinking... I don't think you have I don't think you have anything that appeals oh Ethiopia. Uh, it's that one. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All sorted. All figured out. Nice. All right. Roll with it, Hector. Uh It's wow! Did I do this? You did yeah. this. Yeah, you. Wow, you did this. <laughs> I feel like that was a while ago. Um, okay, I guess I don't know if this is going to help me, but I will try. It doesn't matter to you because you you're, can't. Uh, yeah, you're locked in. You can't. You're locked. Oh, I'm in. locked in. Okay. Well, then I won't do that. It can help you in terms of denying it to someone else, but there's no sense putting an influence. Well, yeah. I mean, gotcha. You could you could put it uh, on there to deny it to someone else, but yeah, no, I I won't. That um, hmm. 
Hmm. I like this one. Do the Ukraine. Okay, two of these. That has to go in the that has to go in waiting the room. room. Okay. Yep. And then as soon as we resolve it, huh? Yep. 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 Gotcha. Uh, that is it for me. Oh, sorry. Crisis. Oh, oh, yeah. Uprising check. Middle East. Hey, again. I can't again. believe it. Hard to believe. Three. It fires. Uh, fires. Still the only one. Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, don't lock that one. That one's gonna be yeah. That hands one. That one doesn't get lot. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. I kind of like that of uh, this part of the game because, like, when things uh uprise, it causes things to trigger again, which causes more uprising. <laughs> I'll bid one. Boo. Uh, I'll bid two. Pass. Um, Hector, you weren't supposed to bid on it. Um... Yeah, you can have it for two. I'll drop my happiness. Increasing the Middle East and the Baltics, Balkans, or just the Middle East? Um, uh, and this does need to reset first. He probably wants to do French. Middle Randy. East and Baltics. Yeah, exactly. I will recover the darkest secret. <laughs> Messing up my flags over here. Do I want to deploy? Yes, I will deploy. Her? I have one. You have two. You have two. You're actually kind oh, of dude. close in happiness. Yeah. It's no bueno. Well, he's dropping down now. I'm losing one, but it may make a difference. Hmm. Now he has a choice of going up there.
<sighs> oh, so gross. We're never going to get there, but I should also note that if if this just gets stuck here and nobody, mm -hmm. yeah, we can also end the game by it. depleting the deck, right? Depleting the deck, yep. Or it's it's not even depleting. It's if you want to draw two and you can't draw two, so. Tough times. Tough times. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to resolve this issue. Hector, it's all yours. Hey, awesome. Um, I'll go ahead and do uh, Poland, actually. Actually? <laughs> yeah. Um, EU goes up. Yep, I already that. moved it up one. Okay, great. And that's it. Uh, the event does nothing. Uh, we're going to move this in there. We're going to move uh, that in there. <laughs> and sure, we'll draw from the deck. Why not? Yeah, we'll go with that one. Goatmanish, I actually own Dynasty. I was planning on seeing if I could make a mod for it at one point, because I would like to play it. Oh, nice. Uprising Is check. Is it similar to this? Is that why they're suggesting it? Uh, I'm not sure. I know oh. Cole cited it as inspiration for Oath. Whoa. All right, so the Uprising check is going to be in the Middle East. It's going to have plus one to the die roll. Oh, wow. It very much exceeds. Gosh darn it. Um, okay. Where is it? Here. Um, I'll 
bid one. Badger. I'll move the powder keg and reset. Up Thank rising. you. Thank you. Oh, no, powder keg did... maxes out here, doesn't it? Oh, it does. Yeah, yeah you're right. Yep. Yeah. So if I bid four, it's over, right? It is. I mean, you could bid will... three and it's over, isn't it? This is also true. Yeah. You could yeah. just, you could just yeah. get it for three. <laughs> yeah, three. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I'll bid three. I'll take it. Damn it. All right. Uh, I'll drop my I happiness. Will do, I will do no effect. No Kurdistan. Oh. Okay. Mm. All right. Uh, and then finally, I will move that up there. Okay, I'll recover. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> oh, no, that's so bad. Am I losing Europe? That's the hope. <laughs> damn, Cecilia. God damn it. All right, I will resolve the game end issue. Ooh. Yay! I haven't, I haven't redone the math, but I'm pretty sure that still doesn't give you enough. I, I'm, I know it doesn't give me enough. I don't know between you guys, <laughs> but it... <laughs> oh, no, I, I think I'm done, too. I, I took the wrong strategy card is what I did. I, uh, which did not help. Yeah. Okay, so... That's it. We just count them up. Yep, we just count them up. So I have 7, 11, 14, 19, 29, plus 30, 31, 32. 33 for the industry? Oh, sorry, 30, uh, yeah, 30, I was going to do 32. Industry. 32. Um, Plus three is 35. So then we go to the strategy card and we count these everywhere. Oh, everywhere. Everywhere. Yep. Everywhere. Oh, my math might be wrong. Everywhere. Then. We'll see. Yep. Um, so I'm at 35 plus how many of those? One, two, three is. Yeah. So that's six points. So that's 41. Oh, wow. Um, then I get three more. So that's 44. And I get jack squat on the last one. All right. So I've got 44. Hex this or something. Yeah. Did you guys count the game end happiness or are you going to do it later? Uh, Badger counted his, yeah. I counted my happiness. Okay. Yeah, that's Badger's final score. Who do we oh, do let next? me recalculate mine. Doesn't matter. It was, it was a joke because I have zero. <laughs>
All right, let's count your score. Five. Uh, I have 36 from points. 13. Okay. Um, and then uh, on my board, I only have five of the first one. Um, there's and none anywhere else. Like none. Yep. I have uh, zero 17. from the second one, and I have. Um, I have two of those, so it's one, two points two, there. Two points there. Yep. Uh, I do have five uh, for this one because I think all regions are above three. No, no, it's it's less than or equal to three. Three. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fucking Pac-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all right. Well, that wasn't going to happen Three, either six, way. Nine, That's zero. 23. 33. Jesus. 36. You got 36 on the cards, right? Yep. 37 with the bonus. Right, so that's 44 40. minus my five points from the military. I think 45 so minus the five points, so a total yep. of 40. Damn. All right. All right. And then uh, let's see what I got. 15, 19, 22, 28, uh, 32. Uh, let's see. Industry. Sorry. 32 plus the bonus puts it at 38. Uh, then the. Do, and the industries there. Then you get it again as 44. Yeah. And then I have both no. 50. No for both, which is six points, which is 50. 50, 52, and then. 55, I think. 55, yep. Wow. Meh. <laughs> yep. I should have taken this. Yeah, this was good. That's good. I, I. That was. I thought that's what I was taking, and I wasn't paying attention because I knew oh, this no. was. I was the one on the top. I was never. Uh, oh no! I, can't I mis misread the lesser or equal to. It the card says outlawing war. Why would I think? You <laughs> 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 rising up. God dang it. Well, that's a cool game. Yeah, I on the negotiation front, I think it helps to have four because there's just more going on. But I'm I still not convinced because it's, much it's of a because game. it's because it's a first game too. I th think it's more um, you you get more into the just more just trying the to mechanics gather of the doing icons. it. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I mean, how many times it's, have you played this, uh, Badger? Like, this would be like five, I think. Five. Okay. Yeah. I, just I mean, don't I'll see, defer to your experience, but yeah. I just don't I, see the capacity for more negotiation than something that shows up like in a coin game, where you're just occasionally. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I, I, I don't disagree with that. Um, we had weird, we had weird strategy cards in this one a little bit mm -hmm. too, uh, and then, and then they, they didn't. They didn't matter until later because, um, like with the self determination, nobody was really at cross purposes with with any of these, right? Because um, you can get situations where, um, um, you could have yeah. had where you have the yes no on the Japan. And yeah, I I noticed those um, when they were sitting out in the display, and I didn't actually realize there was uh -huh. a deck of them at first. And I was like, oh, that's cool how it has those cross incentives. And then I realized there were more, and and that that's and not you actually can, like every yeah, game. Yeah, and um, I would say in our game, yeah, we, we didn't did not we didn't have, have an uprising until very late. Yeah, and so yeah, we I think we were all pretty sure that Japan was not going to sign <laughs> um, <laughs> or Italy. We didn't have one of these out either, which sort of changed the dynamic on demobilization because oh, yeah. if you keep all your guys around, yeah, you can get six. Um, How many points did you get out of your strategy card? Me? Um, six. Well, like 13, 14 ish. <laughs> that's a lot. Seven, Holy smokes, 17, that's a lot. three, three yeah. industries. 
two self determinations. Yep. Yeah, so, so 17. 17. Which is more than a strategy <laughs> card or, or an issue card. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, it's 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 rough. It should work out a lot of times roughly to four strategy. You know, each one's worth worth about a four strategy card if you figure or three. Yeah. Yeah. Hector and I both got Yeah. That is funny, Shaka Blue, that Japan is the happiest and yet they they refuse to sign. <laughs> 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 they're getting the best deal and they're still not getting enough. <laughs> this hurts so much. Oh yeah. my god. The just slow decline in military. Which I admit in the beginning was my fault because I I was just like in this column here the whole game, and right. I lost this, eight happiness out of that. This made a difference for Garrick too, because if Garrick, if if I have happiness, that's another twelve point six. That's another oh, no. six for Not me, and it's minus six for Garrick. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I was that's, that's I was fighting yeah. you on this track hard through yeah, the whole like second I, half of the game. I needed. Yeah, that's why I needed to do the racial equality thing because that forced you had to you had to spend on that. I didn't know if I mean the thing the funny thing about racial equality is it actually ended up being a boon for me because it let yeah, me because, drive Japan down to 14 which it wasn't at. Right. It wasn't going to score yep. me points before. I didn't know if I should do this or not just I think I was pretty sure I didn't win, but I I didn't do it. I I wasn't doing the math because I I sort of I cared, but I didn't care <laughs> because I didn't know if I didn't know if that was going to create a fight between you guys. To I forgot about Hector's minus five, which didn't help. But yeah, I did um, the math on my previous turn, and I thought I could force a game in before yeah, you guys could. Score that's that's games. that's the thing. If Somebody wants this, but as soon as somebody puts anything there, then the game is subject to yeah. ending. Yeah. So, yeah. But it's a cool game. It's a cool game. Yeah, there's a yeah. little... I'm excited for here. the new... Um, I don't know if it's a Congress of Vienna. Yeah, I think that's what That's it's supposed to be called. kind of the same. That yeah. one's more... That one's more Churchill-y. Um, you actually have units on the map. Yeah. Um, but it's, it looks like it's a little more. It looks like it's a little more involved than Churchill. Um, and I kind of agree with the um, statement that like this game doesn't really fit in the. I mean, I guess they've only played Churchill, so what you know, I don't guess I don't know a lot. But it's not. It's not. I didn't feel the same feelings that I felt when I played Churchill. No, this is. It's sort of the Great Statesman series, but it's sort of not. <laughs> so yeah, Goat manages in chat calling it a, a pure Euro, it, which it's, I it's fair. could feel it. Yeah, yeah, it's. I'm, yeah. We didn't. We had the way that things worked out up here, mm -hmm. and it. Um, we didn't have as much chaos as can happen with the uprisings because the Middle East was always out in front. Yeah. Yeah. The Middle East uh, got that was so... like a, a loop. And the, mm -hmm. the other weird thing is there are a lot of Middle East cards in the deck and we just never, we just never got them. I mean, there's going to be, yeah. It's funny. I was thinking about this earlier. It seems like to get the most balance, you would, you would want to go through. You would want to do the scenario where you go through the whole deck and shuffle the the game end into the bottom five. But it mm. seems like everyone would just end up with zero happiness if you do that. <laughs> you, when you when you do the longer deck, you start higher in even, happiness. Even but then, yeah, even then. Um, so yep. there are cards which make you happier. <laughs> I <laughs> didn't really get a lot of those either. So I don't believe you, Badger. You're saying these things with no proof. <laughs> I mean, you get a happiness when you win. Like I that. I did say that it's it's like the heat death of the universe, though. You I did. Mean, you just That's you true. you yeah. just sort of 
a lot of times what a lot of times it's not about getting happier it's about not getting unhappier okay that's so, the whole deck there's not much much happy in there <laughs> no there. and there are some events um i don't know what happened to the one where you can you can buy happiness they say you can't buy happiness but yes you can buy happiness <laughs> you can buy happiness yeah this was i maybe should have i didn't know if i was going to get there with this though yeah, yeah, I almost tossed that out at the end, and I was like, wait, that's that's just potentially putting someone else in range of screwing up my game, and I had to choose whatever else the option was, which ended up being this one. Hmm. Which ended up being a nice threat against the Middle East card yeah. as well, yeah. so it worked out. Yeah, but yeah. if I had just changed places with you on happiness... Right, right, that would have been huge, and this would have dragged I, out way I more. Was... I didn't want to demobilize because... I had an advantage if things worked out right with the uprisings where I was going to be able to bid military and you guys right. were going to be able to do anything about it, but it just never worked out. Yeah. It never worked out that way. Yeah. Hector fell, Hector fell hard on the happiness thing. It feels like there uh, were he, a lot of was, sadness cards for, for France. Yeah. And the, some of the crises is too, uh, it was like lose two happiness per deployed military. <laughs> right, right. Oh, yes. oh god, damn! <laughs> you got kicked. You got kicked twice. at the wrong time every time on those. It seemed like because then we 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 drilled you on on this thing where you just said, "Ah, screw it." <laughs> 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 You're gonna take them. I'll show you. <laughs> Well, yeah, yeah, it's it's too bad Drew got bumped. It is, it is. Yeah, that would have been. Would've, it would have been nice to see it at the full this four. This is like. Mm-hmm. That said, this did take us four hours, which is pretty much about as long as I wanted it to go. So. Yeah. With four, I with four, I think it goes faster because you've got more people to settle things. Yeah, but with Drew yeah. trying to make negotiations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Point. Point taken. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's the same number of cards, right? Like, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, the deck, the the deck size is the deck size. The only thing that changes is where you see the the game, the game end, end. And, that, and that's not per player. That's just depending on the length of the game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Drew would. Yeah. Well, we can we can play it again sometime. Drew Drew would Drew would find a way to to negotiate. Well. That, Drew, Drew, that, that we would not consider. Drew would find a way to the negotiate deal. with a brick wall. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah, I think we had like one or two negotiation like deals, and I thought they were very like kind of a stretch. A little bit, <laughs> of, like yeah. make anything. Yeah. I mean, I, it's yeah. It, it's kind of like I played Battle for Baghdad with some of the coin collectors a couple weeks ago, mm. and we were trying so hard mm. to make that a, a negotiation game, and it just wasn't a negotiation game, and it felt a little bit like that here. Just like, mm. there's, there's not enough asymmetry in the bartering currency, there's not enough asymmetry in the player positions necessarily to, yep. to inspire the, the desire for deal making yep. in the first place. Uh, there's not exactly tools to leverage against each other to make like positions dynamic and and to make yeah. it really matter. It's just sort of like may, Even maybe like you threats can threats are kind of light, <laughs> right? Like it feels like the best you can do is maybe sway someone up and down the card a little bit. That it does make a difference with four two um, in that regard, where you sometimes get more competition on issues um which yeah, then, i didn't see that at all which too. then can spur which then can spur some talk um mm-hmm. because you especially with in terms of just how the agenda works you'll you'll get deals you'll get deals to uh, i i do i i i i do this for you um we promote the right thing and then, you know, you can sort of log roll that way. Yeah. Um, but in a, th- in a, th- 
in a three way you you don't get sort of that same thing unless two people are really just clubbing the hell out of one. Yeah. So so do you guys that. know when uh do you guys know where the Treaty of Versailles was signed? At the bottom. Oh, at the bottom. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cut the stream. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good place. Then he just cut it. It's two forty. I should go to bed anyway. <laughs> Holy smokes! <laughs> um, yeah, thanks guys for playing. Thanks everyone for watching. We'll be back in the future. But until then, have a great night. Have a great one. We'll catch you next time.